Greetings and welcome back everybody to some more Silent Hill 2 Remake on the PlayStation 5. With me today, I have the one and only Windblown. Uh, chatting with his new best friend, Only Quop. Also have uh, Anev. Uh, what, what do you call it? The necessary evil of the stream. And uh, also Misty Dewdrop. Welcome, welcome back. That is a very nice um, comment. Thank you so much. I do have a burning passion for Silent Hill. So that may have an impact. But I do really appreciate that you guys are enjoying uh, this playthrough. Hope you're all doing well. Today is October 9th. And uh, on my way to work today, it was extremely foggy. And it, it just looked like the game. So it was like the world told me, hey, it's time. <laughs> we need to continue with the Silent Hill 2 remake. And here we are. Uh, I'm still a, a bit rough in my throat, uh, coughing a lot. So I do once again apologize uh, for that. Uh, I'm going to try to mute the microphone whenever there is you know, extra coughing to be had. But also make extra sure that I don't uh, you know, un uh, forget to unmute. Because that would be pretty bad. But uh, yes, I'm going to do my best. I don't want to let that stop me. Uh, I'm very eager to continue with this remake because um, I very much enjoy it. It is, you know, a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. So it just, it's, it's, it feels uh, exhilarating to continue because I'm so happy and excited to see uh, what comes next and how they're gonna potentially change or add new things to the story. Uh, I really can't wait. And uh, yeah, without further ado, I think I had something else to say, but maybe it will come back. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue. <coughs> this loading screen is still pretty weird. I don't know if it's my monitor, but uh, it's just... It's like a pre-render of a noise filter. Which is not good. If you, if you know about lossy formats and, you know, bitrate. A, a noisy screen like this being pre-rendered is not a good combo. And I, I can notice, it just looks so... There's too many artifacts. Like, why is it a pre-render? They could just have the noise filter being rendered by the game itself. Yeah, we haven't even started playing and are already <laughs> criticizing. But it is a valid criticism. Like, it doesn't make much sense to me. But then in the case, we are here in the game. And speaking of noise filter, the game doesn't really have that, does it? Not to the same extent. As before. Uh, Alright, let's see if we can uh, remember the controls. You run with L1, which is indeed pretty weird. But, uh, yeah. Uh, do we have any key items to get a good grip of my situation here? So we got the bent needle from the teddy bear. No, 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 no. We were exploring the second floor. Uh, let's see, zoom. Yeah, I think we can head back there. Let's take a look. So we have a keypad in the top. We checked out all of these rooms. We haven't missed anything. There's a question mark in the director's office. And also we need to check out these rooms on the side here. And then we have an M in C5, which I forgot. Uh, Maria, the right side. That's right. We need to check on Maria. So we have set up the stairs and we hug uh, the right wall and we'll check it out. Yeah, Mr. Dewdrop, uh, I forgot, but uh, did you have any past experience with uh, Santel 2 before the remake? Once again, we're playing it with the uh, headphones and pretty loud volume. Try to get that immersion going. Only played the very first one, yeah. <laughs> 
Was that on the original PlayStation 1 or did you play it on emulator? Oh, there's a save point right here. Hell yeah. I have uh, two PlayStation 1s in my room on display. And I do have the original, you know, Sandhill 1 uh, copy as well. But it is the PAL version, 50 hertz. But uh, as I talked about in my commentary of it, it, it does include an exclusive uh, piece of note, which is very important to the story. So it, it does feel like I have the, the, the latest and mo most complete version of the game on my shelf, even if it is uh, 50 hertz. Uh, read. Take care of what matters most. Leave the rest to us. To Luca uh, Palliative Care Center? Palliative. I don't think I've seen that word before. Yeah, I'm happy you caught it too. I think it was an important uh, refresher. And also for people who haven't even seen the original game. It gives them more context now when we're playing uh, this remake. Uh, can we interact? No? So one thing I do wonder is that does this game, in terms of their, its endings, does it change depending on how you play it? Like I talked about in my PlayStation 2 playthrough, is that the more you care about Maria, the higher the odds of you getting that ending, uh, a Maria ending. And I do wonder if this remake does the same thing. Now, if anyone listening now knows, don't answer. I'm just wondering for myself and sharing what I'm wondering, but I don't want to know. So don't answer that. If you know. Uh, and also we are going with the follower mode. Again, just to be safe. But if there is a raid or something, uh, I'll try to uh, disable it. Uh, I, I wonder if mods can do that. But if I forget to disable follower only, uh, mods are more than welcome to disable it. If there is a raid. But uh, we'll see. Nice, nice. Uh, okay, so now we've checked out those rooms. Uh, there's a staircase to the left. Wait, I need to see. Where does that lead, though? Let's back up a bit. So, floor two, west staircase. It's locked. Yeah, okay, so we did try that. And then it leads to the basement, which we haven't been in on that side. So maybe we can head to that staircase again. And just head all the way down. So yeah, straight forward. Turn off the flashlight and run past. It's pure darkness. Never mind. I think I might need to increase the sensitivity on the camera. Or I could just get better at uh, doing the turnaround thingy. But uh, let's just uh, look. Sensitivity X. We can increase that a bit. Up and down is fine. Okay, that is much faster. Okay, that's a little bit too fast. <laughs> uh, controls. 65, maybe. Yeah, that's better. So now we are at... Uh, okay, so we never went to the third floor. Oh, what's with the ambience? It's like a little bit of... There's a melody. Well, uh... Oh, it's Laura. I guess so. Let's uh, take a save here. But I'm also pleasantly, pleasantly surprised to see that this game is getting really popular. Like on Twitch, it had like 300,000 viewers. Th that is a lot for a single-player horror game. So I'm really happy that uh, there are a lot of eyes on Silent Hill right now. It's probably selling a lot of copies, it's getting really good review scores, so it's it's paving the way for more 
quality Sandhill content in the future. I sure hope so. Restricted area. Uh oh. Hey, are you okay? <gasps> Go away! Don't be afraid. I just want to talk. Huh? That was a delayed response from Laura. It's like, hey, and then like two seconds later, then she turns around, like after we finished talking. So that was a bit weird. Like a, a human wouldn't react like that. Uh, how many shots did we have now? We had a, we had the shotgun. We have a pistol. Plenty. Okay, we'll use it for the nurses. But at the same time, I might just continue with learning because I think I need to learn the enemies, especially for hard mode, like how to do those duels. What the fuck? Nice. Oh! Sneak attack deals extra damage? Is that a thing? Oh, whoa. whoa. And just knock them down. Easier. Oh, that is nice. Look at that. No heads up displays, no nothing. It's perfection. Oh, some of the sounds they make are from uh, the original game. Like the oh, oh, type of sound. Okay, rooftop. We're going there later. Ooh, I want to see that cutscene when the pyramid head knocks you down. If it's still here. Okay, let's uh, learn the dance. Shit, she launches forward so fast. Oh, they can block too. Whoa! Dude, this launching is insane. Like, spacing is super important here. And she doesn't get staggered from some hits. Now you see right there? She just powers through and it keeps attacking. They are a formidable fo foe. 14 syringes. I think we can afford to learn it. Okay, so turn it. It's, it's confusing once again, because it's showing turning it right. So I instinctively push right, but pushing right makes it turn left. It's so stupid, but yeah, I guess I need to do it this way first. But we don't have a combination. First floor inner ward. Nice. <laughs> Dr. Andrews, we delivered the radiographs you requested. However, it looks like the file was incomplete as one of the pictures was nowhere to be found. We will send somebody as soon as we locate it. Let me know if you need anything else. Guide to proper hygiene. Uh, move. What's it? Oh, it's a puzzle. Inventory? Wait, you can take it with you? Oh, never mind. Oh, this will show the code, right? Just line them up. <laughs> Literally. Uh, how do you... Can you rotate? Yeah, you can. Okay, let's see if we can... That's correct. I don't think we have all of them, though. 
This is like the top of this, but it does not fit. It's supposed to be over here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, we are missing. So I guess we we can check the map. It will let us know. Yeah, X-ray viewer. So in incomplete puzzle. We'll find more X-rays. I'll just take one extra look so I don't go around looking for them in vain. This is not part of it. I can break this, right? No. Oh, there, there we go. Pelvis. Inventory. Okay, and this one should be rotated like this. Uh, okay, now we're missing one. Old fracture. Uh, we can continue up here for... No, we can't. We haven't tried D2, though. I do wonder if uh, this game has some... adaptive difficulty. Like, the less resources you have, the more likely you are to find them in drawers and stuff. I wouldn't mind, but yeah. Observation notes, patient 90. I right, have to day one. Patient transferred for observation. Mal... Non n mal... N fuck, I forgot how to pronounce that word. Nourishment? Nourish... N malnourished? Shallow breathing. Avoids eye contact. Agitated in presence of staff. Frantic at the notion of touch. Day two. Patient refuses solid food. <clears throat> uh, nasogastric force feeding required. Serotonin antagonists administered to reduce nausea and vomiting. Day three. Patient uh, restrained for bathing and feeding. Prepare the treatment room accordingly. Processing malnourishment. Uh, oxygen deficiency, self injury suspected, could not confirm. Day four, something is very wrong. Something is wrong. That's what they meant to say. Never forget. Uh, all right, let's just uh, save and then we head down to first floor. <sighs> so we have to go through second floor. I guess we can check out the director's office again on the way to the staircase. And then, what was it? What was it called? The key? We have. Uh, we'll find it, I guess. Okay, so let's just go to director's office. Hello, Mr. Blonde, welcome. Turn off the flashlight to be extra safe. We have not been in here, have we? It's another save point. Yeah. Patient number 50, designation 301.3. .3. OK. 
Okay, patient room number C1. Initial symptoms, sudden outbursts of aggression, visual and auditory hallucinations. Uh, what did I miss? Recommendations continue with the current therapy. It used to... Used to... Ah. That makes more sense now when we see it like that. The ultimate cutie, Mr. Blonde. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think I'd just rather read it like this. So patient number 90. Uh, room D1. Sensory delusions. Current diagnosis. Insomnia. Refuses food and water. Delusions persist. Recommendations. Forced feeding and hydration. Chat would be good at that. Bathing required to be carried out in the treatment room. Sleep medication. Constant surveillance. Oh, wait, I didn't uh, flip it. Okay, I don't think we missed anything. Uh, 130, moved to L1. Initial symptoms, intense and unrelenting anxiety. Current diagnosis. Diagnosis. Symptoms have intensified into full-blown paranoia. Visual hallucinations. Recommendations, increased medication. Can't be left alone. Move to L1 for closer monitoring. Hey, is this a um, nod to Silent Hill 1 with the, the alchemy arm gold thingy? Use my bent needle to get it out. Or just use your fucking seal pipe. Oh. It's raining like crazy outside. It's super cozy. I'm so happy. Like, it didn't rain at all uh, at work. And now when I got home, it's just pouring. But sometimes you are lucky. Okay, we're missing a button or one of these things. Oh, this is like a typewriter. Uh-huh. Hi, Ashback. Imagine this game on uh, on Switch 2, yeah. Beyond help. That's what they keep telling me. My three patients. My three hopeless cases. But I do not believe it to be a matter of hope. It is a matter of diligence, discipline, trial and error. Of being as bold as one can be. To go as far as one needs to. I will find what it is that truly ails them. And I will cure them. Sounds like a PT voice, in a way. The, the um, talking bag. The gap at the door. Doesn't have a door handle. Are, are you joking, Aceback? There's a new Nintendo hardware, the Alarmo, an alarm clock. Uh, so, what was it called? Uh, the key. Inner ward. Well, it must be one of these doors. Let's see, we have one to the... Yeah. Supposedly... The key works for both. No. I guess not. Oh, they're here now? Like a fucker. Oh, there's another one? Okay, okay, pistol time. Oh shit, they're fast. Woo! 
Sick dodge, man. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fuck. Oh. Dude. Calm down. <coughs> uh, this was open before, right? Uh, I don't remember. At least she was there. 18. Still don't know what the significance is. Oh, shotgun shells? No? Handgun. Okay, inner ward. I think we found it. Yeah, I don't think I noticed this shit. And so, oh, it doesn't turn around. It looks like she's sliding sometimes. Pharmacy. I think I want to top up on my health here. So that's a three hit combo. No, it isn't. I'm surprised how good the combat is. It's one of the things that is just better. <laughs> Straight up better. At least it's more uh, engaging. And they're not making uh, James turn out to be some kind of action hero with, uh, you know, advanced movements and talent trees. He's just a basic dude who is uh, fighting, uh, like, primitively, if that's a word. Like, anyone can swing a steel pipe. Dinner is cooked up and ready to go. Whoa. Dessert just got made. Okay, so what's the deal with all these guys? Mold remover?
it's in the walls deep inside, the mold remover gets rid of it for a while. But then the thing reappears in the exact same spots. We need to get in there, break it all down if we have to, and root it out. Remember to wash your hands, chat. Now, why would you have this in a kitchen? And what's with the f fancy um, ca uh, canvas? What do you call it again? Uh, shit, I forgot the word for those. Border? Rim? I know the Swedish word, but uh, not the English. Lactose intolerant seven. Oatmeal with fruit, baked beans, sausage, eggs, side of salad. Sounds nice. I had um, a lunch buffet today at work. Huh. Got it for free, which is really nice. The radio is, you know, on, on your left side, so sometimes it feels like there's an enemy to the, to my left, but there's not. Let's see if we can do this uh, sneak attack. Knock her down. Oh, never mind. I, I was the one who got ambushed. They are chasing me down. Can you calm down, boy? Frame, that's the word. Thank you, man. I wonder why, though. Why is a frame used for two different things? Like a frame in a movie, but then you have frame as, like, the outside of a painting. Or does frame, every frame uh, count the entire thing? Like, even without uh, the motif? Like, is the whole thing a frame? Or is it just outside? English, dude. Okay, we're back here. I'm just gonna take a quick save. Might as well. Yeah, the middle is the canvas, but it's not made of canvas. So canvas is um, a material as well. But then in like Photoshop, the canvas is uh, the entire thing. You know, it's uh, it's what makes up the image, the X uh, times Y pixels. That's the canvas. <coughs> Food aids mental health. It's true though. High fiber fruits and vegetables, whole grain foods, healthy fats, including omega-3. Chat, take notes. Highly processed snack foods, highly refined grains, red meat. I mean, when it comes to meat, when you want it like well done or medium rare, I, I am a medium rare type of guy, but apparently that's not too healthy. So maybe I should go with uh, like medium. I feel like well done is just not as uh, juicy. Yeah, could be the difference between IRL paintings and digital arts. Uh, I mean, I, I know that this is not intentional. She's like bugging out with her arm partially in the floor, but it looks so funny. <laughs> is the is the game trying to tell me something here? Stop! You're dead. 
She's still going. Told you to stop. Oh, wow. Now it gets even worse. Vibration intensifies. I got rid of the demon. So, what did we get now? In this... Uh, okay, restroom. I missed one of them. Uh, day room, shower room. Potentially garden would be nice. Oh, the pool. Hell yeah. Now, in the original Brookhaven Hospital map, you can see most of these things. You know, like the pool. But you can never go there. And so sometimes I just wonder... How would that look in the game? Obviously, it's not even modeled. Like, if you go out of bounds, there's nothing there. But in my, like, head cannon, there is supposedly something there. But now they... This is another good example of what the remake can do. It expands on the game. So if the original game and map showed, like, a pool area... Maybe the remake can go ahead and uh, do something with that. Like, why not? You see, now I heard something to my left, but it's my radio, and it just makes it confusing. And then we finish her off. You do have time to get an attack in there before she gets that swing in. Okay, that's the three-hit combo. That's what I mean about learning the dance. So now we have a better understanding of how the nurses fight when we enter hard mode. Oh? Hey, hold on, hold on. Mr. Blonde, I would have played an Ayaya voice redeem for you for free. But unfortunately, it's not available. It's been lost in Silent Hill. Ambush? Oh, out in the garden. Nice. <coughs> oh, here it is. Need a piece of hair. Grow when I haven't even seen the last movie or read it, so you actually did spoil. Ban him. Another incident with uh, patient number 50 he got out of the pool and made a break for the garden, cutting himself wide open in the process. Thank God I was there. He was completely manic, screaming, had the ordalice? Ordalice? Hold him down. Orderlies. Is that how you say it? Um, barely managed to stitch him up. He's back in his room for now, sedated. Loud hole minus two. Man, we have a funny guy on our hands. It's going well. I'm really enjoying this game. I'm so happy to have a triple A horror game that's not shit. When was the last one? Oh yeah, Alan Wake 2. Masterpiece. In that case, <laughs> it's looking good for AAA horror right now. Alan Wake 2 was my game of the year last year. Th this could be my game of the year. But I don't know. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is... Uh, it's pretty hard to beat that. It's a masterpiece. We'll see once we're done here. A Niv. That, that is cursed. Uh, I'm gonna head in there right now. Might as well. Okay, ambush. Get him! We got... It, it lasts for a little while. You see, now when we fought the nurses, these guys are so easy. Woo! Slow down, cowboy! Order lease? Isn't that what I said? Order lease?
Growen. Don't you become a villain now. Order lies. That's true. Lies. Thank you. Oh, uh, health. Where the fuck is he? Got him. Oh yeah, Wendy, I listened to that clip yesterday of me uh, talking about the opinion of Aniv. And that's what it sounded like in my brain. That's what I tried to say. But I guess I was so focused on the games, it just came out as, you know, pain instead of opinion. And when I listened to it, I was like, what? There's no way. I have no memory of saying it like that. But that's what happens when you when you focus pretty hard on an action game. It just comes out uh, weird. What? Nah, dude, I fucking pressed. I pressed dodge. You'll pay for that. What is this? Nothing. Well, I, I am uh, very happy. As a huge fan of psychological horror. Had games like this since uh, Alan Wake 2. Omori. Probably more games that I'm forgetting about. So I'm just super, super happy. Well, there we go, my childhood memory, even though I didn't play this game as a child. Finally have the pool of Brookhaven Hospital. It has a trampoline and everything. Can you jump? Yeah, I like that uh, emote of uh, Kali. So it's, it's a personal favorite of mine. So you could go in here immediately. Oh, 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 I saw that. Sub 1 on the death race, 101. But you're playing the PAL version. You technically broke. Yeah, in my opinion, you definitely broke Sub 1. You're very based. You, you're playing the... You're playing on the original hardware. But that is good. I wonder what that time translates to in the NTSC, but that's like 50 seconds? No? Maybe? Okay, so it's just uh, that pool pump. But there's a question mark on top of that, so can we... Oh no, there's gonna be something in here. Oh, oh we can't go down. So yeah, the pump needs to take uh, uh, away the water, and then we can access that question mark. Excuse me, I needed to cough a bit. Hey, it's the wheelchair from uh, Silent Hill 3. Ah. Medical tube. Okay. Please do not leave any personal belongings. Bullets. Fucking Larry, I knew it. Woo! That fucking... Dude, that made me jump. It looked so, like, contained. I did not expect an enemy in there. That's the first time the game made me jump. Like, it genuinely. No, 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 no. Dodge Master. Yeah, I never said I never was angry. Made him jump too. Being replaced by a superior being. Wendy. What is the first rule of this stream? Agree with everything Norakas says or you're banned. Yep. The first rule is use English primarily. Hmm. Be respectful of each other, it says.
That's the last rule. Invalid. Okay, dude. <coughs> it's still there, though. The last rule means it's the least important. This fucking chat, I can't. Uh, Alright, so no entering the S rooms. Nothing in the garden, greenhouse, we can't access the pump. We have seen and tried every door, locker room is still closed. We have a fucking tube. Mold remover in the kitchen and bent needle. Medical tube? Oh, is that instead for the... Ah, instead of the hairpiece! He used the tube! Now we can go to that uh, drain. Where is it? Where is the drain? Oh, it's <laughs> right next to me. Ain't that something? Tubular. You got a 51. Damn, you crushed it. I got 56 yesterday, I think. But then again, Mr. Blunt, because the game is slower, that gives you more time as a human to react and plan accordingly. So it's kind of easy mode. Pool. But did we ever check the end of this hallway? No. It sucks. It's my childhood. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it is. It, it does hurt me a little bit that, uh, you know, these classics like Ocarina of Time and F Zero, Perfect Dark, that I grew up with on N64, I can never get myself to play those versions ever again. Like, oh my lord, they have not aged well at all. And what's the point, right? Now, when we have PC version of two of those games and, uh, Emulation works very, very well. So what's the point? I mean, I, I still, I would love to play F-Zero X on NTSC and a CRT TV. I, I would love that. But not pal. Get out of here. Oh! Puzzle time? I'm just pressing and see what happens. Oh, that went fast. That went a little bit too fast, if you ask me. Can I use the trampoline now? There's gotta be a jump scare or something, like... Like this guy? Or this guy? The controller's rumbling so much, it's uh, actually making me nervous. It's kinda awful. Uh, in what way specifically was it awful? Uh, okay. Well, there's a question mark here, so then there's something I gotta do. There's no prompt. The, the game wouldn't want me to just, you know, enter the menu like this and use mold. Remover. No. And attacking doesn't do anything. Oh! Now it did! Hey, it's one of the... Oh, we have bracelets instead of rings. Okay. Bloodstained. Oh, there are numbers on it. Or they're... For one of the patients. Now they will awaken. No? Still nothing. What's up, dude? Oh, he's crawling after me, isn't he? Ah! Felt worse. The sensitivity of modern controllers. Hmm. I mean, that's what happened to me on my week one F-Zero X challenge. Like, it was just extremely sensitive. Borderline unplayable. Uh, let me check this bracelet now. Investigate. But, dude, can you at least, like, turn it around or something? There are clearly numbers on it.
Okay, I guess they're not important then. Dried blood covers... Oh, does this work? No, okay, I guess mold remover doesn't work on blood. Dried blood covers most of the numbers. Uh, have we found a drain or water? Not the drain. Uh, does kitchen have something we can use? The pool doesn't have anything. Can I bring it out to the garden and uh, wash it with rain? Doctor's lounge? Uh, did I ever go in here? Nope. Oh, this room looks uh, good uh, compared to PS2. This case bears a disturbing similarity to a situation that took place in the facility a few years back. The patient was admitted on a court order, but with the consent of his remaining family. Uh, okay. His condition appeared to be improving for the first few weeks. They administered medications paired with individual sessions with a psycho psychologist and, and art therapy, alleviated his abolition, uh, and uh, anhedonia, anhedonia, don't know what that is, and social withdrawal. There was no reason for concern. They didn't even know anything was wrong. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Damn it! This fucking inside joke, I can't. <laughs> Until the night guard reported one of his keys was missing. When they found him, it was already too late. Mm -hmm. The inability- Oh, I love Onicorp now. The, the new built-in uh, Google, and then everything's just catching Pokemon. <laughs> The inability to feel pleasure or enjoyment in things that usually makes make you happy when you try to enjoy pizza, but it's just sad bread and cheese. Oh no, don't say that. <coughs> Anhedonia. It's like a um, depression, but with extra steps. Oh, keypad. We're gonna take a small break, my friends. Didn't miss anything else, did I? No. Okay, we're in the locker room now. Old school smartphone password. Uh huh. Yeah, because it's very convenient to do with your uh, your thumb. Oh. What? The ambience. Okay, th that's probably not intentional, but that was scary. How the ambience just went, went from... In, in like, in one frame. It got quiet. That That is unsettling. Because your brain gets used to that shit. Okay, I'm gonna take a break here. See you guys soon. Let's do a team battle if you guys wanna see how that goes. Full screen. All right, welcome back. Still a little bit uh, shook up about that ambience just uh, disappearing. Okay then, uh, let me just get a quick refresher after that uh, break. So, we want to clean this in uh, some way. And also find a way, a place to use. But it says combine. This one does not. So I'm guessing we need to find something else. We can't do anything with this on its own. That's my guess why it says combine. And uh, it didn't work to com combine those two. So. Let's take a look around here. If there was some kind of water source, I think James would have uh, written that on the map. Blacklisting every emoji. Uh, yeah. I guess I could, but then again, Onicorp is a moderator, and moderators can still type blacklisted words, no? No, probably not. Let's uh, see here. So, yeah, we have the combination now for that uh, keypad up there. So, we'll try that first. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's good to know if it's possible or not. Uh, I think I went the wrong way. My, my guess is that it's not. Ban Windy, he's a ban, he's, <laughs> he's a bot. I knew it all these years, all this support with tier 3 subs and everything. It all boiled down to the fucking, you know, check out my best viewers deal. I get tilted when I see viewers spelled, uh, you know, like that. Uh, hand. Oh, my mold remover wouldn't do anything. But maybe I put the bracelet on it. I mean, I don't see what that's gonna do, so fuck it. We're just gonna go to the keypad. But first I need to figure out what the code is. Uh, let's see. Memo. So I'm, I'm guessing it's, yeah, top right to top left, uh, to bottom left. Fuck me in the ass dot com. Okay, dude. <laughs> Windy unleashed. That website is oddly specific, though. Sus, but love. But love. Oh, that's the two hits. So they have a three hit combo, a two hit combo. Who the fuck do you think you- Oh my god. You see, they, it looks like they're sliding forward sometimes. Easy. No! Don't ban the Windler. Cookie, you're gone. Oh, I guess you're gone. That is the enemies nicely for drops this time. What's with the Niv's villain arc? Oh god, no! Fuck me, dude. That that is. Oh, I I have a not a thing for small insects, but they do creep me out. Pun intended. Oh fuck. Okay, now it's not as bad. But when when they spread out from a source like that, it's just no. I'm just happy it's not in 60 FPS. I would have made it. Hello, Judge. I love you. You feel like shit's gonna make you... Gonna make you my white noise and crash? Oh, okay. Now I see what you mean. I hope you feel better soon, Judges. You're a beautiful person. They feed me the garbage and rotten meat. Crawling with maggots thick with sinew. They make me bite down. The juices red and yellow hit the back of my throat. I choke and I gag and I vomit till my throat is sore. An aching, throbbing tube of flesh. I push it all out, but I can still taste it. Are they talking about taking a poop? They bathe me in filth and blood and piss and bile. They gently rub human waste all over my body. My skin itches, it peels off like wet paper. I beg them to stop, but they don't listen. And then, they lock me up with him. He's always there, closer each time, and the rot, it comes from him. It goes within. It becomes me. So yeah, enjoy the white nose, uh, judges. That was some uh, relaxing poetry. Sinio. It, it... It is? I thought it was Sinio. Sinio? Sinyo. Yo. There's no fucking way. Sinyo. Oh, God. They're back. Oh, they only... Ah. But they stop immediately, which is pretty weird. <coughs> uh. Well, we have another radiograph. Sinyo. Yeah, me too. 
啊。It's like to dump the body in here and pour it in.、Um, what is it called? Hydrofluoric acid. Well, that was interesting.、Uh, I never checked out this door over here. L one. Well, that's locked. Yo is pronounced like tho. Sinyo, sintho, tho, t h o. Tho, tho. I'm confused. That would eat through the bathtub. Would it though? I mean,、uh, with that、uh, Jesse emote right there, I saw、um, a MythBuster episode, just、uh, some clips, and they did that with、uh, a pig corpse, and it did not go through the bathtub. At the end, with、uh, I think it was hydrofluoric acid. But that was the whole、uh, episode,、uh, you know, breaking the myth from Breaking Bad, and it does not break、uh, a, a bathtub, apparently. Uh, oh, now I see. Okay, so sinew, sinew, sinew.、Mm. Uh, now I got、uh, off it a little bit. I need to stay focused here. So we got this one. Uh, I feel like we found something else, but maybe we didn't. Also, we need to look at these things a little bit. Do you have to reopen the menu every time? I said you just want to go back and check the next item, but it, it closes the inventory. That doesn't look like Mary to me, but hey. Look at the nave trying to be cute. Me. A nave cutie? I don't think so. Let me go back inside. I feel like I missed something. It's bubbling and shit. No, okay. I guess we're done here. Alrighty then. Where do we go now with these、uh, things here? Can I take this to the radiograph? Will it almost entirely covered in mud, mold? Oh, mold! I didn't read that. I thought it was、uh, the same. We need to clean it、uh, the same way as the bracelet. It, it was interesting, but there, there's not a fuck ton of filler in it, just dragging it out for no reason. So I just, just skipped ahead like 80 percent of the episode. I skipped because to just talk about very un、uh, what is it called? Fuck English is so hard for me these days. But yeah. Unimportant th things or irrelevant. There you go. Irrelevant. Or unrelated. Ir irrelevant. That's how you say it. I feel like a lot of things they they said and did and showed were just irrelevant. Just get to the point.、Uh, but yeah, let's go up again.、Uh, staircase, west side, and then it's X-ray viewer. At the very end of it.
There we go. Okay, so those two lines down there. There we go. 47777. It looks like... The first seven looks like a mirrored E. 47712. Oh, that's for the... Yeah, exactly. This padlock over here. So which way first? Let's see. Let's take it up again. And we'll see. We turn it first. Is it a memo or... That is a lot of memos. What the... F oh, it loops. Or does it? Yeah. I think it does. Uh, why is it not here, though? I thought I was going to bring it with me, but I uh, guess not. Yeah, thank you. Uh, let's see. So we need to press left to turn right. God, I already messed up. Let's see. So I turn it right until we get to four. And then we press right until we get to 77. Wait, how the fuck? That doesn't make sense. How do we reach 77? Is it just seven? It's on the door? Uh, yeah, exactly. But, um, we can't reach 77 here unless we need to combine it. So it goes up to 36, 37, 38, 39. That is so confusing. Is it actually 7 or is it uh, 11? Let me see how they look again. That must be 7 because of the strike in the middle. It just... I don't understand the the second number. It looks like a mirrored E. But what number is that? So it can't be 70. Oh! Dude, what? How did I not see it as a 3? Because the bottom portion is like... Abnormally long? So I wasn't the only one who didn't see it as a three. For whatever reason, I saw it as seven, but it was like morphed in a weird way. So I'm glad I'm not the only one. The bottom portion is so weird. But yeah, it's 37. Now it makes sense. Okay, so turn it right until we get to four. And then we turn it all the way until we get to 37. And then the other way until we get to 12. And then accept. Still disintegrates. Alright, we got that out of the system. <coughs> The only quop, the quop emote. Not a dirty ass bracelet. Filthy. Yeah, it, it can uh, disperse after. I don't mind, but doing it in front of me just feels like it, it is some kind of immersion breaking. Like, why would it do that? Uh, we are looking for a way to clean these bad boys, but where? Oh, it's on the map. Now it says uh, 37 more clearly. 
So we can't go over there. We can't open the staircase. We have nothing here to clean it. So I want to check on Maria even if, even if it doesn't do anything. I feel like the rest room that's locked could be used to clean it. Uh, there's a hand and a safe. I still don't think we have what we need for those. First floor doesn't have any way to clean it. The uh, pool doesn't have anything. There's nothing on the map. New head cannon. My best bet is going out in the garden and cleaning it with rain. But no. And the basement doesn't have anything. Laundry room. But I feel like the, there would be some kind of marker on it. But may, maybe the laundry room has a way to clean them. I don't know what else to try here. Hmm. But yeah, I'm gonna head over to Maria. So down the staircase and it's straight forward. In between hell, yeah. Alright, yeah, that's all we have. Uh, staircase is over here. Rooftop, we still don't have the key for that. Uh, there we go. There we go, straight forward. Are you still sleeping? Hey. Any luck finding Laura? Not yet. How are you holding up? I'll be okay. Just need a bit more rest. James. Thanks for checking up on me. It's very sweet of you. Yeah. Uh, get some rest, though. Be back soon. Mm, I'm getting convinced that what I just did was optional. And it will make uh, the Maria equivalent ending in this remake more likely. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Okay then. Uh, we head down all the way to basement and check out the laundry. But maybe you don't even have to clean them. Maybe if we just put them on the arm and now something happens. <coughs> because the arm itself is also filthy. So we'll, we'll just try. Can we though? Are oh, there are three of them. You don't need to clean them. Or do we? Okay, we can move them. But since we don't have all three, it doesn't matter right now. So that's my guess. That we need to get all three. And then we can probably see something. But there's nothing left on the map. We can't do this puzzle now, can we? Yeah, we're missing this one. So this one talks about the order of the bracelets. Uh, don't have a key for that. Dude, what the fuck are we doing now then? We have no key items. Wait, can we even take these back? Let's see that. Because then I know for sure. Yeah, you see, we can't even take them back. So we were not supposed to clean them 
elsewhere. Or else we're soft locked. So no key items. Um, none of these can help me as of now. I have no mar uh, map marker that shows me like... Because these circled uh, doors, like uh, this one, I can't do anything with. Because I need a key. And none of the other rooms have a marker. Maria we just uh, checked on. There is nothing we have missed here. So that begs the question. What are we supposed to do now? I would I would love to check out the, the west part of the basement. The phone lock paper. Yeah, we use it, yeah. That gave us uh, the last um, radiograph. We can't go there from uh, east, and we can't go there from above either, because the elevator is broken, the staircase doesn't go all the way down. So, I feel very lost right now. Like, what can we even do? We have checked out every room. Uh, roof is still off limits. Laura is over there on the east side. Can't reach that. Uh, that one is also locked. I guess when there's a circle, it's um, like a key we need. And when it's just a line like that, we open it from behind. What the fuck are we supposed to do now? There's an elevator at the... Uh, you know, in the basement. But it doesn't lead here. Yeah, it does. Or no? That's the left... Yeah, that's the west elevator. It doesn't reach the uh, third floor. Um. Yeah, I'm kind of stumped. I don't know what I'm able to do. But uh, we'll save here and just fuck around and hopefully we stumble upon something. Did you look it up, Wendy, or did you figure out on your own? He looked it up, okay. Is it, uh, okay, so a hint. Uh, I, I can just ask a question. Is there any way for me to see on the map? C can I see it on the map currently, what I'm missing? Because I feel like I have interacted with everything I can with right now. No marking. Okay then, uh, what floor? So we save some time here. Third floor? There's like nothing left up here. Hey, you bought uh, the remake for Kai? Hells yeah. I technically still haven't bought the game because I'm playing it through my brother's, uh, uh, like, family share. But uh, I will most likely buy the game physically. When I get the chance. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, fuck around. So this one is locked from behind, most likely. Uh, Laura is nowhere to be seen here. Some 
bullets. Did you buy it on uh, on PC? Nice, nice. I will uh, most likely buy it on PC. And play it on my n new PC later. But yeah, this is still locked. Mm, we did check this one, didn't we? Yeah, we did. else of interest we were done in here yep Are you sure that it's on the third floor? Because we have just uh, seen everything here. Haven't we? Oh, is this where we're gonna fall through later? Could be. Uh, okay, if it is on the third floor, you're more than welcome to just point me to what I am missing here. I can't. Yet. Well, it's kind of a bummer. The elevator is still not working, and I can't do anything with it. This is where we used uh, the phone keypad thingy. Uh, did I ever try? Oh, I never saw this. Hey, finally. <coughs> we did find it by just fucking around. Yeah, I see you little shit. Three enemies here? Okay, don't activate uh, Mrs. Legs. Uh oh. Oh, there's a lot of buffer. <laughs> Shit. There's a lot of buffering when. Um... Uh oh. When shooting. Dodge. Let's make sure they're down and out. Woo! Got him. Never doubt your fucking round skills. I'm just trying to... What do you do with process of elimination? Like, I am a bit insane. I think we can agree on that. But I'm not that insane that I do the exact thing, same thing expecting a different result. Fuck around with everything I haven't fucked around with yet until something happens. That's how I did it uh, back in the day. Like when I was seven years old and I played uh, games that had some story focus and a lot of English. I didn't understand anything. So my idea was just to talk to everyone and interact with everything until something happens. 
And for the most part, it worked. But yeah, it's a surefire thing. Just to try everything until you make progress. <coughs> no, couldn't do anything with that. Yeah, sometimes it just took too long. I can't remember which game it was, but uh, there was one game where there was just too much talking. And it just wasn't fun. Constantly going around talking to the same people, expect or hoping for a different outcome. I always get st stuck in the same spot. Huh. Well, we didn't find anything in here, did we? Observation room, L3. We didn't get anything, so I... Uh, technically, we're still stuck. Didn't find anything of uh, interest here. Just an ambush. Some noise from this thing, but uh, that's about it. Imagine if I played without... Uh, you know, the prompt button. That would make this very annoying. A hundred times. That's so interesting. How much patience you had as a kid. Because of how, like, new it was. Yo, Maria. Uh, Halo 2 is a great game. Well... Anal sex, what am I gonna do here? I was gonna say fuck me in the ass, but that wasn't as fun. Uh... Wait, shower room to L2? I must have tried that. No, because that means I would have unlocked that door. No? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Misty. <coughs> Hope I didn't wake up. Uh, oh, why judges? Uh, we have been in here. Oh, ah, uh, uh, wait a minute. There's an ambush. Yeah, I fucking knew that. Whoa, double ambush. Woo. They are agile and flexible, and I don't like this one bit. Oh fuck, there are three enemies in this little room. Go! Watch out. Got him! I saw you. Your internet uh, shit itself? Do you know why? Stop it, James. You're so aggressive! My god, I want to open this cabinet. Thanks. I'm not angry. Don't know why. Man, that is irritating. Okay, we have a new room. But once again... It's just an ambush with three enemies and nothing else. No key items, no progress. I mean, I'm happy I, I saw it. I want to see everything in this game, of course. But where am I going? And what am I doing? This is how it feels for uh, people playing the original Silent Hill 2 for the first time. And there's some cryptic shit. Just end up walking around over and over and over. I'm just so surprised because this game is doing a, a good job of, you know, allowing you to make progress without any guide because of this, uh, you know, hand drawing on the map. Like, here's an object of interest. This one has been solved. This one has not. But there's nothing on this map. There's nothing at all. I'm clearly missing something, but I don't know what. I need one more bracelet. I can't do the safe. I can't open this door. The w women's locker room? Am I even allowed in there? I have. 
No, but I have. It's, it's right there. I was. I wasn't allowed in the men's locker room for some reason. You can't do that. A neighbor's a gossip girl. Check it again. Did I miss something in the... I can't tell if you're perverted or if you're trying to help me here. Maybe both. I didn't miss it, did I? Okay, let us let me see if I can figure this game out. So I've been in here clearly because there's a marker on the door. But there's no marker inside the room. So what did I miss? Get a job at Brookhaven and you will never have to work a day in your life. I mean, I, I, this is generic, of course, but uh, this is what I feel about my current job. Because I, I really do enjoy what I do and the place I work at. And sometimes it doesn't feel like I'm working. I'm just... I'm just there. This is where the teddy bear was, and I got the bent needle. Wendy, I think you're lagging behind. We, we did this like uh, 50 years ago. Yo, sorry, I'll check this out. The poster's here. Jack! <gasps> They copy and pasted it from uh, SH2. Yeah. <sighs> Nurses lounge. Where? Oh. <coughs> step by step. I think we are far behind because the bent needle was one of the first things I got. Wait, what? Wait, what? I've been in here! Hello, Sadri. I'll never pick this shit up! Static doesn't look like that. If you're gonna make um, the ant wars on CRT TVs, at least make the frame rate correct. Uh, I do have the shotgun, yeah. I am just conserving it until the end of the game and I will never use it. I guess I never did anything in here. Because the map showed I was... I interacted with the door. But I missed. Yeah, you know you know what I mean? It's updating at 30 FPS. 20? It's hard to tell. L1 is uh, right here. All right, my dudes, what's going on? Hey, it's my favorite uh, yellow tape interactable object. Can't go wrong with that. Oh, what now? James, pu push it. Uh-oh. I hear you. James, climb up. There you go. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is, but this just looks weird. What the fuck? It, the hanger just looks... Wh why is it getting blurry, like pixelated? It's wrong. Yeah, yeah, me too. They brought in the girl today. Poor thing hasn't said a word. She just sits there, head in her hands, sobbing and quivering. I moved her to the corner bed. Seems to have calmed her down a bit. She even smiled at me, I think. 
Mary? Who is dicking around over here? Oh, it's the elevator. One bullet. It's not exactly Christmas. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you know, the door closing on its own was actually spookier. <laughs> the dick in a round? I mean, it's your life. Dick to your heart's content. <coughs> oh, damn, I felt that. He's got like 16 splinters in his hands now. Well, he got soft locked IRL. Game over. Well, aren't you lucky? What are the odds? I'm gonna go back inside. We missed something. We are... Oh. Albert Smith. Why won't they help me? Why do they keep me in here? With him? Let me out. Let me in. Huh. Oh, the, it's neat. I, I like how they did these uh, shelves. They are stacked. Look at this. It's even bending here. Now I understand what the fuck's the deal with these little jingle uh, interactables. It's remnants from the original game. This is a typewriter thing with the purple bull key. But it's not a part of this game, so instead it's just a remnant. Oh, that makes so much sense. But for people who haven't played the original, what's the point? It's, it's just confusing. It's, a, it's just an easter egg for the original game. Can't believe it took that long for me to realize. Because I was thinking of the purple bull key when we entered Brookhaven Hospital. But yeah, it's not here, of course. And they got rid of the hair in the box. I'm not going to spoil for Sohoya too much here. Not sure. I don't think you finished uh, Brookhaven Hospital. And here we have it. Third bracelet. Oh, 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 oh. Stop it. Where did you come from? The big feller, Maria got shamk, shamk, <laughs> the fuck? Okay then, then you got the hair in the box. They got rid of that, they made me say it. They replaced uh, the piece of hair with, um, what was it? Like a cord, medical cord thingy. 
tube, medical tube. Up to the second floor we go again. Now we need to figure out the, the order of those uh, bracelets, but we can just uh, brute force it. Are you sad now that Maria is gone? That's gonna be fun. Oh, you have to do this as well. Ah! And then what? Oh shit, we can't just brute force it. That's the only clean part on this one, yeah. I keep reading chat. Well, nice, Zanib. Be careful, though. Glimpses of the past. You get a trophy if you find all of them. Well, you know me, I'm the the trophy hunter. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, so let's say we do get the right number combination order. How do we... Where do we use it? We, we don't have a place to use those numbers yet. This is a key needed. It, it lined up, yeah, but now I don't understand. Let's uh, read, uh, listen again. Uh, shut your mouth for a second. Trial and error? The talk show dude answered the... Where do you get to answer them? But he told you. Go to the storeroom on the third floor. Now, if I was Oats, I was gonna say, dumbass, dork. But I, I'm not I'm not that toxic. <coughs> to get the prize. Oh. But maybe, I, I need to listen to how he words it. But he does say the storeroom on the third floor. Huh. But yeah, that, that's where you do it. Oh, you know the answers? No no cheats? No guide? My man. I mean, yeah, if you pay a little bit of attention, it's not that easy. I mean, uh, tough. Uh, but yeah. Oh. So I did brute force it. Okay. I thought I need the uh, first. I, I first thought I needed the correct number order, and then input those numbers somewhere, and then get something to uh, to open up his uh, grasp. But no. So the number are for the patient, like the patient number. I'm just a silly, stupid streamer, so it's fine. Hey, now we can do this thing. Oh. Oh, damn. What? This is a ripoff of um, Resident Evil Remake. They can't keep getting away with this. Uh, this needs to be at the very end, right? Uh, no, yeah, yeah. Where are we getting there? There we go. 
and then well not quite no stop yeah that looks right so far uh, and then this part should be in front of this one yeah there we go and then we just move it uh, wait, maybe the bar needs to be longer first. Yeah, exactly, with the, the mane. The hair thingy. And then this part. There we go. Uh, should I take a screenshot of this? Let's do that. Uh, screenshot, thank you. Now, wait until you get to Sand Hill 3. And as I said, don't don't play hard riddle. Don't. Okie dokie, Loki. Where's my screenshot? There we go. Ah, it opened up on the wrong window. Shit. Hey, hold on, hold on. Can I do this? Win right key. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I think I got it. There we go. Nice. So first thing, first we need to input uh, the safe button. And then we just uh, follow the order. Can I reset? Okay, there we go. So uh, first, it's uh, this one. Second, this one. Third is two thingy. Fourth is this one. Fifth is a dot. Sixth is crossy cross. Wait, what? Oh, and now I need the number from the patients, don't I? Is that what I need? Now the numbers are important. I need to take a screenshot of this as well. A nib wants to be a mod. No way, no how. Oh shit, ad break. Uh, okay, boys. I'll be right back. Take a short break here. We'll do a team battle. We are back. So, the Windy typed the numbers, but now chat has been spammed, so I don't know what the fuck's going on. There we go, 92, 45, 71, and then I need to have this uh, sheet, I mean, um, <clears throat> this image here. This is, I, like, I like this puzzle. It's like you have to write down information and then use your fucking head for once. So the combination is 9, 2. 9 is uh, this symbol right here. 2 is this one. And then it's uh, 45. Uh, 4 is this symbol. 5 is dot. And lastly, 71. 7 is uh, this guy. And 1 is this one. Good puzzle. I like it. Kind of tricky to keep it in your head. It's like it demands you to um, write it down. And I don't mind. Rooftop. Oh my god, it's time. Dude, that, that is a safe safe. I almost missed a note. Their images became blurry, melting together. I could no longer tell. Not sure if I can do it, but maybe you can. This will take you to where you need to be. Though, probably not the way you want to. Mm -hmm. Sure hope we get that important uh, diary on the rooftop. Or I will cancel this game. There's a dot inside the circle, so I was like, yeah, a little dotty dot. Has a long-term memory of a deflated beach ball. Ooh. Can a brother relate? I know I can. Oh, 
Alright, chat. Something big is about to come down. And the biggest James. Yeah, this is one of those games you don't really want to play on. Oh. Where the ambience just cuts off. Feels Rain Man. Oh, and the thunder you can hear uh, feel in the controller. It's really nice. Super cozy. But yeah, on uh, this version, it's using a lot of um, upscaling techniques, most likely FSR, which makes for a lot of um, artifactal noise. And with fast moving pixels like this, it's going to be hard to see it on the stream with bitrate compression. But um, it, it makes for a lot of artifacting lines. It just makes it look noisy and just smeared. It, it's not nice. I really want to play this game on PC at some point. I haven't heard from anyone, but uh, how's the PC uh, port of this game? Is it uh, well um, optimized? Oh, we go this way. Does it have a lot of uh, stutter struggle, you know, with shader compilation? That, that's the good thing about playing games on console, is that you never have to worry about shader compilation. I can't think of a single game that has had issues with that. Oh, look at the shadow on that lamp. Mm -mm -mm. No fade in, no nothing. It's just I wonder if they remade this uh, part with Pyramid Head into a boss fight, because there's plenty of room. But would they really have the same boss fight again, like copy and pasted? I don't think so. Oh. No, 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 not, not going there yet. Tell us a story about pineapples. Oh, that's fast. The, oh, here's the diary. Makes sense for it to be indoors. If it's that rainy, then it wouldn't be so good. So here we go. Is it copy and pasted, though? I think it is. May 9th, rain. Stared out the, the window all day. Peaceful here, nothing to do. Still not allowed to go outside. May 10th, still raining. Talk with the, the doctor a little. Would they have saved me if I didn't have a family to feed? I know I'm pathetic and weak. Not everyone can be strong. May 11th, rain it again. The meds made me feel sick today. If I'm only better when I'm drugged, then who am I anyway? Yeah, it really is the exact same. May 12th, rain as usual. I don't uh, want to cause any more trouble for anyone, but I'm a bother either way. Can it really be such a sin to run instead of fight? Some people may say so, but they don't have to live in my shoes. It may be selfish, but it's what I want. It's too hard like this. It's just too hard. May 13th, the doctor came in today. He said that I'll be released soon, that it's time to go home. Okay, so this is different. I mean, it's, the wording is different. I should be happy, but I'm afraid. I'm so afraid. It feels like something's about to happen. Like the last gasp of air before the plunge. Oof, the irony. But deep down, I know it's too late to turn back. So I, I, I do like the way they have rewritten this. Uh, it's a spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't played original Silent Hill 2 but uh, there, there's some bit of irony here so the first one is the last gasp of air because Mary spoiler Mary died from James being strangled uh, by a pillow or suffocated and the plunge is irony because of the plunge we are about to take from Pyramid Head being knocked down into the hospital again <coughs> that's what I think okay sorry you're fine Tell Sohoyo that tea will ne Oh my fucking god! That actually scared me, dude. I was not expecting him there. I was expecting me to jump over there where you... Oh, that's a memory thingy, right? I think I missed one of those memory things now. Because that's where you get knocked down in the first version, but now it's here. That makes it so you have to read that uh, diary. 
Which is good, because you can miss it in uh, PS2. So yeah, well played. Good remake, I love it. Oh, that was good. Man, I fucking love horror games when they make me jump in, in a good way. Because that wasn't a cheap jump scare of a, you know, face screaming in your, in your face. Th that was a good jump scare. I love those. But then again, Pyramid is very, like, chunky. Very heavy. How the fuck did we not hear him? Because of the downpour? Is it really that rainy? You just snook up on me? Uh, what? Oh, look at this type of shower. I, I would love to try one of these uh, showers with multi-heads. Just have a bidet. Beaming your ass. Now let's play some uh, Silent Hill Downpour after this. What do you say, cowboy? Contamination shower, yeah. Sounds good, dude. <laughs> yeah, let's play Downpour. Here we go. Woo! My favorite game. Wait, you don't take damage from uh, Pyramid Head this time, do you? No. Because in PS2, you, you, you have uh, critical health after that cutscene. Kind of forcing you to heal. It took 12 years between downpour and this. Oh god. <laughs> they didn't bother, yeah. We already peaked. Oh, here we go. Another remembrance. Turn, turn the numbers. I, I would love to stream in one of these rooms. It's gonna it would feel so weird, but um, it would be good for the audio quality. But then again, some people like it when uh, there is some reverb uh, from the room in commentary. Oh, we are about to have a showdown with Laura soon. In case of fire. Oh, yeah. Read through all of this information in case of a fire. Wait, this is a fire instruction? Instructions for the fire? I don't? No. I won't, please, just... I need to know. Mary's my friend. We met at the hospital last year. Stop lying! Laura, I, I'm sorry. Fine! Don't believe me! See if I care! Hey! I'm sorry, Laura, but I can't let you just run around this place. You might get hurt. Hurt by what? Look, just stay with me, okay? This is no place for a kid. Fine. But there's something I've got to get. Laura. It's important. What is it? A letter. For Mary. What? I hid it. In there. You 
sure this is where you left it? It's in the back. Behind an old pipe. Okay, w wait here. Right? Want me to open it? Huh? Do ya? Laura, open this door right now. It's the magic word. Laura. Nope, that's not it. I guess I won't open it. Get out of here, you rat. In your dreams, fart face. Laura, please open the door. There's something in here. There there is. A big lying fart face. See a fart face! Laura! You need to wait for your fucking turn. I have some ranting to do. Okay, so I did, I forgot to type it down because I was so intrigued by the cutscene. So I'm gonna just go with memory. Uh, I'm happy they still kept the fart face <laughs> thingy. I was like, are they gonna cut it out? Is it too cheesy? But they did it. But not only that, they repeated it way too much. So it just lost its... I don't know, it went from, okay, nice, to, okay, come on, dude. That was way too much. Uh, I love that uh, James is um, telling her that there is danger in the room. Because in the, the PlayStation 2 version, he's just like, Open the door, Laura. You star little rat, open up! When there is an immediate danger in the room. This time he's, he's at least trying to let her know that they're like, Come on, fun, like, enough fun here. This is serious, you need to let me out. So that was good. Uh, I love the little chase scene. That That's new. It, it worked. Because it also gives her more of a reason to fuck with James and uh, lure him in here. You know, thank you for the follow, SK1000. 10,001. Um, yeah, what else? I, I really love uh, James's acting. the His pauses and how he says certain words. Um... His uh, body language, everything was really good. The only thing I did not quite like is when Laura supposedly lies about it being last year when Mary died three years ago, uh, calling her a liar. I, I think that outburst could have been done better. It just it didn't feel quite right. I, I would have uh, liked it if uh, James got, um, I don't know, maybe confused first and then lash out or... I don't know, something about it just didn't sit well with me. But yeah, other than that, Laura is okay. Yeah. I, I, guess, I guess I'm not the, the biggest fan of uh, the new Laura. It, it's okay. It's alright. <clears throat> oh, shit, sorry about that the microphone bonk. Need to make sure that I don't do that. <coughs> trying to cover my mouth when I cough. That's why it just goes into the microphone sometimes. Uh, Alright. But yeah, SK, uh, thank you for the follow. Uh, we do have a one hour follower mode to minimize the risk of spoilers. Because it has happened in the past. Uh, I'm gonna go with the fucking shotgun here. Let's get it, boys! Okay, we have plenty of uh, shots. Uh, reload. So is it one on one first? Oh, oh, it goes back up. Woo! Oh, okay, pretty tough to hit because he's swaying. Swinging. Wait, does that even deal damage? Uh, let's try the pistol first. Oh, maybe up there. Can you see him? Uh, the battle music sounds weird. Uh, 
I can't tell if I'm dealing damage to him or not. Now I can. Okay, so you need to hit him in the flesh. Well, in that case, I'm bringing out the short again and we're hitting him underneath. Come on, boy. So they did expand on this boss fight. You need to get rid of the panels so you can get a clear shot. But they made it one-on-one -on -one instead. So I can hit him when he's swinging to me, but that's going to be tough to time. Well, what if I just wait here? Oh, never mind. It is tough to get a good uh, angle on him. Whoa! Oh, he's got an ar me mechanical arm now? Okay, nice. Uh, I think the pistol is better for this. Okay, so that works. I'm not the biggest fan of uh, aiming with the uh, control stick. You can watch out for the arms. No gyro? Yeah, unfortunately not. Gyro would be nice. Okay, now it's short. Oh, wow. They really expanded on this fight. It's looking like a Silent Hill Homecoming boss now. Whoa! Where's my siren? Whoa! It's like a Beyblade now. I thought it was going to be round two. Please come to Brazil, James. That was chat, not me. I'm sorry. And yeah, now we can finally look up in this area. Good boss fight. Oh. The gun just disappeared. But I'm still... I'm holding... 
What? I thought it changed. Okay, Brookhaven Hospital, Otherworld. Count me in. Uh, that was good. I like that he's being dragged up and then transported on that uh, hospital bed thingy. Uh, it may have gone on a little bit too long compared to original, but it's fine. Yeah, yeah it's, it's good. It's good. Oh, is this me? Uh, hyper focus. Current diagnosis, they can be fixed. Stop at nothing. Oops, I didn't uh, read the backside. I should do that. Uh, investigate, flip. No turning back now. Oh, you thought the hospital was over? We're only halfway there. What about Maria? We need to save her. <coughs> I am very much looking forward to the next Maria cutscene. Her acting in uh, PS2 is just amazing. Her anger and everything. Oh, I, no, never mind. Now, what about the ambience? Oh, yeah, it is. It is the same. It's remade, but it's built off of the same. Yeah. Oh, I love this ambience. Oh, we need to find it. Uh, we are on floor two, so... Hey there, everybody! Thanks for tuning in! If that is not in the game, I'll be pissed. Well, how about that? Another save point. Oh, it's bubbly. Mm-hmm. That sounds nice. The rain on the windowsill. Curse nurse. Oh. Oh. You can't reach me from there. It's so silly sometimes. Why would uh, the first aid cabinet have a fully, you know, clean and functional supplements drink, but everything else is this? All in the name of gameplay. I'm gonna go for the surprise attack. Oh, they have a knife this time. It's really a sound of homecoming now. Mm, bitch! Woo! Excuse me? How much health do you have?
Mm-hmm. Yes, that's where we're going. It feels pretty linear, which is kind of nice. It's a nice contrast to um, the normal hospital. Very open-ended, puzzle solving. Here it's more action, horror focused. One track. I honestly don't mind. Uh, James, are you gonna pick it up? Oh, that was the wrong window. Oh, how we danced. Arms flailing, our bodies in perfect uh, synchrony, and the music played. But in any dance, there comes a time one must take the lead, and the music got louder and louder, pouncing, piercing, and then silence. <coughs> Oh, this is uh, different now. Bunch of, bunch of chains. What? Instrument of force. Mm -mm. Move? Oh. Why does it disintegrate? I don't like it. Okay, I need a, an eye? A new arm? I guess I don't have the hammer anymore. Alright, so how you? Thank you for swinging by, my man. I'll try to catch your stream later if you're doing one. Yeah, I, I see that fucking ambush happening. Oh wait, it's gonna explode! Oh! Oh, it's still spewing. Really feeling it. Who the fuck do you think you are? Mm. I see it uh, dripping down. Do I want to go down already? There is no map for this place. Oh, there is. But yeah, changed. Uh, let's uh, check out uh, D3. A Nip's favorite game. See you. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's the same room. God damn it. Oh! I'm trying to hide from... Where are you going? I'm kind of bugged out on the... Is, is it scared of me? Ow. Didn't quite know what to do. I'm about to use my syringes soon. It's the kitchen. Yeah, I will uh, hug uh, right wall. Uh, 
Is that a little nurse burp? Nice swing. I, I thought she was gonna be dead for sure. So much health. Oh, crawly boy. Cheek shot. Okay, that's the three hits. You see, playing Dark Souls makes you good at every single game in the world. Pattern recognition and stuff. Yeah, I'm joking. Ah! Ow! No! I'm so happy they made the combat feel um, unique enough. It's just not copy and pasted from anywhere. And there's a nice like dance between uh, going for more aggressive hits and playing it safe and dodging and reacting. It, it's basic, but it's just it's doing exactly what it needs to do, and that's that's great. I feel like I have to stay focused. Uh, key of blitz, bliss. No, I don't, I don't know about that. Uh, we're done in this section. We'll head uh, to the north. I want to continue with uh, the first person playthrough on the enhanced edition later. I mean, oh! After this uh, playthrough. Okay, I thought I pressed uh, early enough. I'm pissed too, James. They took away my pistol remote. What were you doing in there, girl? Those are some nice knee socks, though. Just saying. The fucking wind up. I can't see anything. <clears throat> Ow. Ah. Okay. One shell. I mean, it's good. Everyone counts. Uh, all right then. We could open the rest uh, room from that side, but we don't need to. Where do we go from here? Staircase is off limits. I'll open it just for the sake of the map. Oh, we can't. Or is it? Oh, here we go. <coughs> uh, are we done on this floor? We have a key, so maybe we'll head up to second floor again. Ah. 
Maybe third. Ah, there we go. Surgical chair. Maybe we can do something with that now. Mm, yeah. Let's set up. The description of that pick. For touching the mind. Oh no. So that put us all the way up to third floor, yeah. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, that looked bad, to say the least. Everything's it's jumping too much. Huh. Hey, the lapis uh, key. Nice, it made a return. Lapis lazuli, it was hidden inside the medical dummy. Well, that's rude. Now, where can we use the key, though? That nut is sick. I'm so happy I'm living in this time, if you think about it, when it comes to ancient doctors and their um, practices. Uh, we, we can try the staircase and see if it helps. We don't use the key uh, anywhere here, do we? The bottom to me, uh... Freaking freaky. He even got the nib uh, riled up. And all the experiments they did on humans. For the sake of uh, medical advancement. Uh, I never went this way, did I? Maybe it's a good thing that I went up there and got the lapis key. So what is this? Hey, it's the box! It made a return! But it does not contain a piece of hair anymore. That's for sure. Hey, it's very, very similar. So three locks instead of four. Makes me wonder though, what does it contain this time? Hey, the mop! It's looking very pale. Uh, wait a second. Wasn't there... History is dark and scary, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, we're fine in here. Mm, I like that. That that is such a nice detail. You can just hear some faint footsteps, and you see them sneaking around. Now, where did you go? Clock puzzle. Another one, really? Oh. I'm actually kind of scared now. Where did uh, Mrs. Legs go?
<coughs> One year they've been watching me. So many pills they fed me. When a loud hour comes, I tremble every time the light falls. Uh, well, I do see the keypad up there. This is question marks. Watch it go dark. One, two. One, two. Ah. Okay, uh, we need to type this uh, down. Do I have my notepad thingy? Fuck, it's on the other monitor. I can use uh, chat to type, maybe. So, we have a total of six pills. We have two uh, lights. Uh, flicker. What was the next thing? When a loud hour comes. 12? But the, you can't have 12 on a padlock. Unless it's 1, 2. One year they've been watching me. So is the 1 part of it? It's it. There are four numbers. So I'm guessing 1. And then pills, loud hour... And, uh, every time the light falls. So, one, six. Yeah, something with the hour. And then, two. Uh, we could just brute force it, couldn't we? Let's try that. The last number we can just brute, brute force. I'm gonna get uh, jumped on very soon. Oh, here we go. Uh, no battery in this playthrough, I guess. Uh, that's a little bit of a spoiler. Not getting the battery means we're not going to get that uh, room with the insects and the keypad. Unless they redo it to something else, which could still happen. Well, I like that. There's just a bunch of nods to the original puzzles and things that happened. Well, let's uh, try that. So, turn the numbers. Uh, so, I thought it was going to be one first, one year they watched me, and then pills, a loud hour, and then two flicker. So, we can just brute force this last digit. Two. Loud hour two. Can't say I know what that means, but hey. <laughs> if you have a puzzle that can be brute forced, then yeah. Suit yourself. <coughs> Maybe if you just turn the hour to two, you will hear like a loud sound, and that's the clue. I'm fucking scared here. Hello. Ah, oh, no, no, this is an ambush. No? It isn't? And then hit her. I did hit her! I sure did. Oh, hi, Eddie. Can you open or not? No. Oh, I'm loving this ambience. It's so dark. Ah, 
Haven't heard that sound before. Got her. What? Whoa! What the fuck? She got up? <laughs> Hello there. What the fuck? Camera threw me off. Yeah, get back in here. I'll wait. What you gonna do? Whoa, getting tricked up. What the? F She's dancing around me. No, no, no. Stop. Akira Yamaoka still got it when it comes to this dark atmosphere sounding places. The lapis is not for that door. Can't push it. All right then. So what do we do now? East side, nothing yet. Director's office, locked door. C five is opened uh, from behind. M one had. I forgot. The ladder. Maybe. No, 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 the ladder's on the, the kitchen floor. Where do we use uh, the lapis key? I only see one locked uh, door. Third floor. Hmm. Well, you know what, my friends? I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of a longer break so we can continue for longer later, which means I'm gonna just go ahead and eat something real quick. Or as quick as I can. So give me... Yeah, at least like 10 minutes and I'll eat something and then we can continue for a while longer. Hope that sounds good. Uh, might as well charge my controller in the meantime. Uh, yeah. I'll see you guys soon. Welcome back, everybody, to some more Silent Hill. I don't know what I'm doing, but that's a given. We have a lapis key. Other than that, I don't know. A restroom, staircase is blocked off on the east side. Did we read about the key? Yeah. <sighs> Where do we use this one, though? We did try it on the director's office, so I'm sure it's not there. Climbing up to third floor. Has no locked door whatsoever. M4 we haven't uh, checked, so I guess we'll do that. Uh, how do we reach it again? Uh, rest room. No, you can't. Well, how do you re... How did we reach L1? It's blocked off everywhere. Floor 2. Staircase. What's oh, a cart thing? Uh, can we still climb that? Wait, what? 
L1. Yeah, but from which uh, direction? It's not north. We can't go there from east. Rest room. Yeah, but how do we reach uh, the restroom then? There are squiggly lines everywhere. The fuck? I don't see it. The ladder goes between one and three. Dude, I have no memory of how we reached L1. Still can't head in here. That's a shame. <coughs> this leads to the door which we can't open. You ran past it on the way to it. Huh? I can't climb over here. The elevator doesn't have anything. The chain box over here. What about it? Yeah, but there are squiggly lines. How can I go south from the box if there are squiggly lines? There's nothing here. This leads into L3. Or does it though? Oh, you can't. Wait, no. No, not quite. Oh, this is confusing as fuck. have floor one and two and that's not gonna help us right floor one just takes us back to where we started which just has locked the doors everywhere yeah we started out in the garden like up there but I'm just gonna fuck around until I Hopefully find a way back into L1. It's really, really confusing, yeah. It makes sense, but it it can't be too confusing. It gets kind of boring. Because now we're just looping around here on the third floor. Which leads to the ladder. Which leads to floor one. Which does not lead to L1. I'll try again. I've tried everything else I can. <laughs> I can uh, neither deny or confirm that, Windy. It's, it's tough to keep track of it. But here on first floor, we can just head... Yeah, there's nothing down here. Everything here is locked. 
closed off. Yeah, you know it. It's one of these moments when you keep going from am I stupid or is the game stupid? And that's kind of annoying. Uh, that was just a supply thingy. Yeah, the, the, we can just scratch the first floor completely. There's nothing here. I, I kind of want to check the VOD right now. How did we get to L1? What you mentioned does ring a bell. Like the box thingy. We climbed over something. But it can't be a one time only room. That wouldn't make any sense. Oh, right. I forgot. Okay. I, I am stupid. It's not the game. It's me. It's me. Uh, wait, wait. Hold on. How did I reach the staircase? Through here. It is me, because in the original game you used the Lapis Lazuli key on the box, and the box has a keyhole. So, yeah. But then again, we need one more number. So unless something happens... <coughs> ...once we use the key, then I, I'm still stuck. Because I don't have the last uh, number combination. But, uh, yeah, let's just... You see, it's still locked. But maybe this chain unlocks a new path. Because that was some heavy, heavy sounds just now. Or are we still stuck? I think we are. That's just, uh, you know, two out of three. And we don't have a memo for the third one, do we? Uh, memos, hospital. So this one we already finished. The turning. Uh, we could try patient number as a code, 3141. But I think that's a little bit too easy. I'll try it. But yeah, I highly doubt so. 3141. No. At least the sound effect is familiar. It's this thing that really bugs me. Why can't James just climb over? There's even a little cloth thingy here, so you can interact with it, but no. How in the fuck did we reach L1 before? I'm just going uh, around and around the same area. It's not gonna help. Because this is ins insanity. <laughs> just This is not going to lead to where I need to go. I, I don't think anything changed now when we used uh, the key, no. I, I thought so because of the loud uh, noise and the chain disappearing, but that's just part of the, bo the box getting unlocked. It's just really annoying to open up the VOD and try to skim through at double speed until I find how I got to L1 in the first place. Uh, yeah, elevator is not gonna help out. How the fuck did I reach this place? Because this isn't um, markings from the normal Brookhaven. These are markings from now, right? They must be. But everything is closed off, so it makes no sense. Is it through the women's locker room? But then there would be a... Would be a thing for that. 
staircase from uh, the third floor. Was that it? Oh, dude, my head is spinning here. Yeah, I can't go to the west side at all. I'm just gonna try the elevator, that's like the only thing I haven't tried now. But it will just bring us back to where we started this uh, segment. <coughs> well, we'll take one trip around, hug the right wall. Just make sure we have missed any details whatsoever. This is where we started, out in the garden. No, no markings or anything here, we haven't missed anything. Except some bullets. And then continuing on the right wall, it leads this door which is closed and that's it that's all there is here so yeah elevator is not the answer this is the thing like we're just doing process of elimination at some point something needs to happen unless we are soft locked but there's no fucking way we are but i feel like i've exhausted every possibility so what is left If I just keep hugging a wall and looking carefully and interacting with everything. Unless it is the box. Unless we have the number for this keypad. But I don't think we do. It did block the path. Okay, but what now? Are we soft locked? Is that it? We can't interact with this. That would be kind of funny, though, if our playthrough is just fucked now. We blocked the path, we didn't get the correct item, and now we're just soft-locked forever. But it's, there's no way we would make it past uh, quality assurance testing. We are missing something somewhere. Um... Worst case scenario, we can just look up the solution for the keypad. And get whatever is inside and hopefully that helps us. But then I just wonder where do we find that number combination. We don't have a single key item right now. We can't open this door. Wait, hold on, hold on! Oh my fucking god, I missed this. This is the type of thing I kind of wish James noted in his uh, map. But yeah, I, f I fucking missed this. Oh. Well, I guess I was stupid after all. Didn't look carefully enough. But that's the thing, he notes many things on the map that is noteworthy. But not a breakable wall? Hmm... That, that's a little bit an edge case scenario, what do you call it? I mean, that that is kind of on the player to... Yeah, I'm a bit uh, split on that one. I think there's another enemy in here, so I need to be careful. <coughs> Maybe on easy? Oh, oh. Oh no. Man, she got stuck in the floor. Here we go again. Yeah, I should have 
I should play on hard mode and then no heads up display whatsoever. First playthrough. That's bound to be fun. But that's not right. Uh, James, where do you want this? Do I want to push this first? I do, but that thing is in the way. That's fine, though. We can still get out. So, is there anything of importance in here? What can we do with this... Uh... Uh, do we even need it? All oh, right, we need it outside, of course. Yeah, it 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 is uh, mainly me just being silly. Yeah, let me take a look again. So the game is using this white cloth thingy to highlight things you can interact with. And there is a lot of it right here. Right here on the floor. But I thought it was just part of the design. Like bandages or something. So I never really looked to the right here. I just looked to the door and the end and this thing. So yeah, the game did, you know, they, they tried to highlight this, so it, it is me being not observant enough. It happens. Hey, we can uh, continue now. Can we shoot from here? Oh, I smell ambush. Need to get over to a corner. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. This is the decor. Uh oh. Oh, that's a lot of boys. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck was that sound, James? Woo! What? Fucking clipped through her. That's my new favorite uh, hurt sound in any game ever. Ah! <laughs> Shit, Anib is uh, being ominous right now. Highest shelf behind you. It's about to fall and crack your neck. He's there again, looking, staring. He says he'll drag me there. I don't want to. This thing again. Yo, envious jig, welcome. Out already? I mean, yeah, it, it's out. It's good. Highly recommend if you like horror games. Yeah, like I said, it's really good. Uh, from the perspective of someone who really, really loves the original PlayStation 2 version. I am pleasantly surprised by how good this remake is. And uh, also, of course, huge fan of uh, psychological horror games. So this is a nod to the original, because this is where Maria is. But she's not here in the other world. And we just have a very heavy breathing. But they made it even stronger this time. So yeah, that's a strong nod. Hey, there we go. Director's office key. We are swimming along quite nicely now. Uh, this way. <coughs> well, I, I I do recommend finishing the original on your PS2 first, because it's a cult classic, amazing masterpiece, and then play the remake. There, there's a lot of nods, as I just mentioned, a lot of nods to the original. But I think, uh, of course, the game stands really well on its own as well, so. I love James. 
I, I think the new James is um, good. And that was my biggest fear, because when um, the HD collection came out with Troy Baker as James, it, it was alright, but it just did not feel like James. I feel like this James is way more faithful. His acting and everything is it's great, you know. But uh, yeah, speaking of Guy Kihi, who is the original uh, motion capture and voice for James, it would have been wonderful if they brought him in again and just gave him, you know, good directional... Yeah, what do you call it? Voice direction. Yeah, Troy Baker did not work very well. It's not He's not a bad voice actor, but he probably did not get the correct voice direction. But yeah, it would have been a dream if they brought in Guy Kihi again, because he he loves the original game. He he truly... Uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, there's a good word for it. Values, his time with it, and his importance and everything. And uh, I don't think for a second he would deny doing a remake. They even... Um, there's been a lot of fan interviews with Guy Kihi that said if they ever remade Silent Hill 2 or made a movie or something, would you consider doing the part? And he said, yes, I would definitely do it. But they didn't. They didn't bring back. They And I, I get it. It's a remake. They want to do everything with a fresh coat of, coat of paint. And so, yeah. Uh, bottom line, the new James is good. R really good. Oh, well, I don't need to see that again. Uh, some of the other characters, in my opinion, not so much, especially... <laughs> especially Angela so far is... Um, Angela is by far the weakest new character for me. Eddie is amazing. The new Maria is alright. The new Laura is okay. Uh, the new Mary voice is... Mm, okay, it's alright. Odd stilted dialogue in a bad way. Mm, yeah, yeah, I, I, I think I know exactly what you mean. It really fits the original game, how like off it is sometimes, especially with a character like uh, Angela. She's just all over the place. I found uh, patient 50 in the ECT. Emergency care treatment room. Red wire. This time I checked, he was not appointed for the treatment. How is it possible he got there all by himself? And how would he know how to turn the thing on? Somebody's going to answer for this. Her actual age? Yeah, that is one of the, the positives I have. I, I think the, the design of her looks more accurate to her age. But I still don't like it. Like, her design right now, it just doesn't look good. But it's really tough for me because I'm so extremely used to the original. I'm very biased to it and the original designs. So it is tough for me to see Angela in such a different way. But then again, Eddie is vastly different. And I like the new Eddie design because it also fits his problems. You know, the obesity and getting called a fat sack of shit or whatever. So I think in that logic, if I like the new Eddie design, which is vastly different, then... Uh, yeah, maybe the new Angela design just doesn't work for me personally. Yeah, Maria's clothes. It's, yeah, also a little bit. Uh, I, I don't want to spoil anything for you in this remake, Envious, but uh, in regards to her original clothing, there is something. I'll just say that. Treatment stretcher. Ugh. Too modern. Yeah, and it doesn't fit because the, the world of Silent Hill here takes place in 1983 or something? Hello. Hundreds of reviews? Yeah, me too. Um, but, uh, I, I mean, in, in the remake. I don't want to spoil anything about the remake for you. If, you, if you've seen. Mm. 
Yeah, I've also watched a lot of video essays and reviews on... Uh, oh! On uh, original Silent Hill 2. Get away from that boy. Now why don't you take damage from that? Fucking cheater! Oh, that's a wind-up. Oh, it's a three-hit combo wind-up. Uh, oh yeah, uh, you reminded me of something. The the new cutscene with Laura uh, before the hanging body boss fight. There was uh, a line there when James says, "This is no place for a little kid." I don't know the exact new word he's using for the. Um, can't believe you haven't gotten a scratch on you. But they kept that big theory, like fan theory thingy. And what I mean more specifically is that, yeah, she says, uh, like, get hurt. Get hurt from what? Like, you know, why should I? You know what I mean? They, they kept that. So you can still have that uh, theory that Laura isn't seeing any of this. Or Laura is not real. There's a bunch of uh, theories you can have uh, that, that gets fueled from that voice line. And yeah, also spamming fart face like three times was way, way too much. Uh, no, you can't change this camera from what I know. But, um... PC mods could probably do it. I'm just gonna check. Maybe you can. Maybe you can change the camera somehow. Controls. Aim sensitivity. Look. No. I would like if you could zoom out a little bit more. But they, they did take away another one, uh, Envious. You know, the first time you talk to Laura and James says, what's a little girl like you doing here anyway? And she's like, huh? Are you blind or something? That line is completely gone, which takes away fuel for that theory. Makes me a little bit pissed. <laughs> but it's okay, you know. It's a remake. It doesn't replace the original. <clears throat> okay, I'm kind of out autopiloting right here. I need to focus. So, I've seen everything there is to see here. Uh, rest room I missed out on. Oh. Okay. In James's blind theory? Yeah, not quite literally, but uh, yeah, Laura not being as she looks or, you know, apparent uh, appearance. I, and, uh, that's one of my main theories about the original game, that Laura and Maria are not real. But uh, there is a debunking for that theory, and that is that Laura and Eddie talk, and James can hear them talk in the bowling alley, and they interact with each other, and Eddie knows about Laura, so that's a big debunk right there. I won't rest until they are solved. I won't rest. I can't rest. I don't know how anymore. Is gaslighting you? Could be. Another theory is that no one is real. Everything is just a manifestation of James going through his purgatory towards atonement. That could be it. Some people say that Eddie and Angela just represent different parts of James. Like the murder aspect and uh, the running away aspect and so on. Depression, anger. Just representing different parts of James. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Ah! 9659. And he typed it down. What a champ. <laughs> Gaslight girl boss. Big true. See? Feel how warm I am? You're really not, Mary. 
I told you, a Maria. Uh, this would be faster, right? Stop it now. Uh, 96.59 And away it goes The the new tracks Some of them are Really good And fit very well Some remixes Not so much Especially the song that plays when you meet Maria for the first time. That was a little bit too much, in my opinion. But most of the ambience are copy and pasted. <laughs> Not even hair this time. A lot of the sound effects and ambiences are copy and pasted, but in a good way, and also sometimes remixed. Hey, look at you! At least they're keeping these uh, key puzzle iconic things. <clears throat> Is that symbolic? Minus one in her mouth? Like minus one girl? Mary gone? Mar Maria gone? Hmm. Hey, here we go. She's an angel. No one knows. Only I can see the lady of the door. They cannot walk along her bridge of thread. They fall from the weight of their crimes. They like bloated and ugly corpses. Their sins, she devours them. Sin and sinner alike. She saves me. She is an angel. That's exactly the same, I believe. My PB on this game? Now let's check. 10 hours and 44 minutes. Let's get it. We're gonna have the best Maria cutscene coming now. This voice effect. Are you ready to play trick or treat? Excellent. Here's your first question. In the early 1800s, a terrible disease spread across Oh, they changed the questions. Resulting in the death of many of its inhabitants. Their bodies thrown into the lake to sleep forever in their watery grave. How many souls were lost during the plague? One, forty-two. Uh, can I pause? Two, uh oh, I hope it's not it's not playing. But yeah, we did get a uh, memo of, of that, didn't we? I still have the hear the crowd in the background. He's not talking, is he? Seven, three, okay, good. Uh, let's see here, South Vale. Start from the beginning. I, I guess the beginning is over here. That is a lot of notes. Oh, it's a looping. Okay. Uh, okay, so these are just memos. It doesn't uh, show the things we read about, like a newspaper. It's just memos. That's kind of annoying. And the photos obviously don't have anything. Mm -hmm. uh, well, now I did not catch uh, the numbers, he said. Let me see if I can type it down here. Eighty-five was a third. Okay, dude. Well, you better hold on to it. You never know when it might come in handy. Now, on to the second question. Follow Sanders Street heading east and further on to the outskirts. 
Also, Envious, I would just like to ask you to you know, not talk too much uh, about the game right now, if you don't mind. I want to try to keep it uh, focused from my perspective, if that's all right. Like backseating and stuff like that. What is the name of that road? One, Bachman Road. Uh, fuck. Two, Munson Street. I need to look Three, back on the recording later. Road. Did you get that? I sure as hell. <laughs> sure as hell. And for a third and final question, Silent Hill witnessed a gruesome. Okay, so this one seems to be the same. No, they don't have the and finally line. Miriam Locane. Heather. Okay, at least. Uh, fuck, I don't have my notepad here. Let me see. There we go. There we go. Uh, question three. Well, looks like that's all the time we have for today, folks. Is number one. See you somewhere, sometime. Miriam. Question two. Now I need to. What the hell was that? We didn't have Maria with us this time. Uh, all right. So I need to. When we get to that box. Whenever we do that, I'll um, I'll look back on the stream, basically. Or actually, we're gonna take a break now, so I might as well do it on the break. I think that's a better idea. Because I was completely unfocused during that entire thing. I need to rewatch it and uh, type it down. But we do have a save point coming up. I think. No. Nope. <laughs> I got fooled by the lighting. Oh, oh, oh. I really like how they... Oh, no, 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 no. I, I do miss the original sound they make. A lot. It sounds like broken um, tricycles or something. But hey, uh, okay. So ad break starting now. I'll um, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. <coughs> Welcome back to some Silent Hill Two. Uh, do we have time to check the map uh, already with these enemies around? M maybe not. Maybe we should just get rid of this uh, knife. This sh short lady. Whoa! Oh, she is aggressive! Where did she go? Okay, map time. Are you allowed to check? Yeah, you are, but you need to go in here. Uh, so, stream is fucked. Wait, what? Huh? What happened to the stream? Oh, because of the... Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, the, the video player. My bad. There we go. Thanks for letting me know, my man. <coughs> okay, notes. Sanders Street towards Lumberyard and Cemetery. Uh, let's see, west side of South Wales. Uh, 
Sander Street. Well, that's not here, is it? There it is. Yeah, and Wilts Road. Heading east. Towards the Lumberyard and Cemetery. And the question was... Fuck. Yeah, Wilts Road. I thought it was part of the question first. But yeah, Sanders Street heading east. Technically, it's north. <laughs> Northeast. But it's fine. So yeah, Wilts Road. Uh, question number two. Answer is three. Just to point that out. Question number three. The answer is one. But the first question was actually the hardest, because we don't have a memo of it. We can't look at the map. We can't cheat in that way. But we did read about that incident. How many humans or how many bodies in the lake from that incident? I could very quickly check my VOD and just skim through until I find where we read about it. But I don't have the VOD uh, available right now. So we're kind of screwed in that sense. I I'm thinking it was 85 bodies. That was a high number. But that would mean the answer is 331. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll see. Um, give me a sec. Okay, let's continue. Also, I, I, fuck, I need to check once again, where where did we input the answers? After the third question. Uh, if so, the time will soon come to collect your prices. So it doesn't tell you like in uh, PlayStation 2 to head to the storeroom or anything. Just keep dumping shit here. Oh. Okay, kitchen disposal room. We can head towards the staircase and the elevator, maybe? But then again, why would we want to leave the basement already? We didn't get a key item, did we? No. Uh, I need to try to stay focused. It, it is wavering quite a bit. Let me try again. Just to uh, hug the wall. Look carefully. That ambience right there, that little melody, boom, 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 sounds eerily. That right there, it sounds eerily similar to Santil 4. Uh, never. Okay, we haven't gone here. Smiley face. He just keeps repeating that melody. Oh, 
Oh, there you are. How's our ammo count now? Should be pretty vast. Okay, not not so much, but plenty. <laughs> the way she just walks towards you with that knife. Okay, so before we jump out, make sure we don't miss anything here. Oh, is it time? I sure hope so. James. Mary. Oh. Maria, I thought. Sorry. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway? What do you mean, anyway? I was almost killed back there. I have never been so scared in my whole life. All you care about is that dead wife of yours. You couldn't care less about me, could you? No, I just... Then stay with me. Don't leave me alone again. You're supposed to take care of me. I... So what about Laura? You found her? Yeah, but she ran away. What? We have to find her. Yeah, you, uh... You really seem to care about that girl. Do you know her? I... I'd never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone and... I don't know, for some reason I feel like it's up to me to protect her. Nah, Come nah. On. Let's go look for her. No. No. That did not do it, my friends. That fucking sucked. In my opinion, of course. So, it, it's just so I iconic. That uh, Maria cutscene and the way she yells anyway, and it's not only you know funny and it stands out because it's the first time she's lashing out and yelling, of course. But what the fucking voice cracks a anyway? Oh, I need to re-listen to it, but it just no, 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 no. That is just felt forced. She didn't feel angry. I really wish we had a side-by-side -side comparison right now, like a sentence-for-sentence sentence comparison. And you can go ahead and say, oh yeah, biased and whatever. But no, I, I think the original Maria did that cutscene so, so much better. Conveying that frustration, anger, uh, body language. The, the original being a pre-render, of course, but still the, the voice acting overall is so much better. James is fine. Still, I think James is uh, just fine in this cutscene. Uh, I love the way he uh, questions her. Like, you really seem to care about her. Like, the, the way he delivers that line, it felt natural, it felt... felt real. But Maria's lashing out here just fell completely flat on me. Oh! Damn, I, I'm sad. I'm sad. Some of the lines were okay, of course, like, it's up to me to protect her, feels like. 
when she speaks in a normal tone, it, it's fine. Like I said before, she's all right. But that, that was an important cutscene where she's angry for the first time or shook up or whatever. And it just, no, it did not feel right at all. Which does make me worried about some other, you know, strong cutscenes happening later on. Does make me really, really worried. Wait a second, we can't continue... Wait, what? Oh, so this door was open. Ah, <laughs> okay. Yeah, at least you open it normally. It, it, it felt like a first take. Are you guys seeing what I what I mean now? Do, do you see these artifacting uh, blur shit that happens from the rain and everything? Do you see how it persists on the screen for a little bit? Little bit? Like it fades. Like the, the rain has this long ass trail after it from the noise. I guess you can't see it on every type of monitor. But that that's the upscaling artifacting shit happening right there. So that's not the game's fault, really. It is not on PC at all, I would presume, if you, you know, don't use cheap upscaling. I love how they made this pool otherworldly. That That's good. That That's how you do it. Yeah, you know, you have the most important cutscene in the game happening later in the prison between Maria and James. And that is a cutscene they can't fuck up. It is... Oh, it's so iconic. It's extremely important to the lore. And it's very dependent on how it's delivered. Yeah, this. I don't want to spoil it for Sohoyo, of course, but... Um, the way she alters her tone in the original in that cutscene. Between lovingly and being cold. Jumping between that. It's extremely important. And if they can't nail it in this remake, I'll be very, very sad. trouble there yeah you think you could give me a hand <laughs> me you're supposed to be the big man around here how's a little girl like me supposed to help <laughs> fine Okay. 
I don't want to talk until the cutscene is over, but that, that actually caught me. <laughs> the way James said that. So fucking stoic in his face. Like, thanks. <laughs> and it's so funny, in contrast to the original, he says in a very com comedic way, he says, huh, thanks. <laughs> but here it's just, oh, so that, that was good. Where to now? So here, here's a good example of what I mean. I think Maria here is just fine when she's talking normally in a collected tone. Look, here, James, why don't you take it? Like, everything just feels natural, it feels nice, I approve, I like it. So in, in that way, they, they did uh, manage. I like that they expanded on this little cutscene, that it smells horrible in here. Um, also, when James tries it first on his own, in the original he says, Hey, Maria, give me a hand here. Like, a little bit lighthearted. But here he's kind of like... Passive aggressive in a way, like aren't you gonna help me? It, you know, that's how I That's how I, it, it sounded to me. It's a little bit a little bit more uh, irritated side of James right there But then again, it's also justified because she started by saying having trouble there, you know weak ass So I think it works that he is a little bit tipped off at her attitude when he's just uh, trying to do something that doesn't make any sense. Why would they want to open that in the first place? But yeah. Good cutscene. I like it. So now we have both rings, which means we can just head back to the door, right? And we do that by heading to the staircase. I think that's what the game wants me to do now. Head towards the staircase. Does it lead, lead, lead back here? Yeah, I guess we have to go around. But I, I'm very curious to hear what you guys think. Because, uh, yeah, I think most of you have uh, heard and seen the original. So I, I'm curious to hear what you guys think. But of course, if you don't have an opinion, you're not, you don't have to force one out. Uh, so all the way back to... Wait, we have to backtrack the exact same way we came here? It's kind of annoying. Is that really what we need to do? The way she said, what's that? Hmm... I need to re-listen to it. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, we can't even go back this way, so... <coughs> I need to find another way back to the elevator. It needs to be from here somewhere. messy in my head here. I mean, there's an elevator right there between the, I mean, next to the pharmacy. The feelings they put into conversation fluctuates a lot, but I feel like it did that in the original as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, it does. Definitely. That's what I mean, you know. In the original, when James gets the ring, he's like, huh, thanks. <laughs> Very lighthearted, kind of comedic, half laughter saying it. Uh, God. Fuck. Wait, so we can unlock this door from here? Ah, so that's where we needed to go. Now we can reach uh, the elevator. And then we have an ultra important cutscene and uh, segment coming up. You both know what it is. And here's another one. You know, here, here's a... Here's another cutscene with some heavy acting, so to speak. Something drastic is about to happen, so they better fucking nail this.
I like that you have to wait for the elevator. Makes it feel like it's actually there. Oh yeah, the trivia. The game hasn't told me where to answer it, so we'll see. Oh! What is that? Did you hear that? The audio was like, uh, cutting out. In a way. Wait, was someone on the other side? James? What's wrong? Let's just get out of here, okay? Uh, I'm trying. Now we need to check the map here and see if it does something similar to the original. What's wrong? I thought you wanted to get out of here. I know. It's just... Something doesn't feel right. Come on. It's gonna be fine. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it's a ha hand holding event right now. Is the whole thing a cutscene? In the end, it was not fine. Okay, so we're not holding hands. It's not that lewd, Windy. You can open your eyes. Uh, okay, I can't say I'm a fan of this, in a way. Let me explain. So, in the original, you just went down. Like, n nothing seemed off. It just seemed like another corridor, another staircase, and you just went there. And then, you know, shit hits the fan out of nowhere. What? Maria? She's fed up with my bullshit. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Alright. But here, when Maria is clearly showing uh, worry, it does half spoil. Like, even for someone who hasn't played the game before, it does give you that, okay, something is gonna happen. Something is not fine. Down here. It's like... I would prefer it if it just happened instead. I don't know. Well, we'll see how it plays out. It's done. Sick no more. Hey! Okay, okay, wait, hold on. Oh, this is good. This is good. Let me read the others, because this is... That, that was a nice build-up. Uh, do we have other ominous notes? No. Okay, so we have read... There'll be no pain anymore. So, Sohoyo, spoiler warning. But these are clearly written from James, or manifested by James, in uh, him figuring out a way to solve the situation with his sick wife. There will be no pain anymore if I kill her. It's done. Pain no more. Statement or wishful thinking. So this is just... This is just James those notes. And it, it comes now, right before Maria dies. Oh. Oh, that's good. Okay, you can unmute in five hours. I just saved. <coughs> can I check map? Oh, you can't. Well, hold on, hold on. Since when can't I check map? Since we went in here? Oh. Okay. So first floor. This room. Does not exist in the basement. I'm so happy they continue with this. So this is not a spoiler. This is just the observation if you play. Uh, yeah, both this and the original game does the same thing. The map has made sense. Up until this point in the game. It's made perfect sense. But this is the first part. I mentioned this in my PlayStation 2 playthrough. This is the first part where the map stops making sense. Because we're on the in the basement floor now. This does not exist here. 
this doesn't exist. And then it gets even worse. And then that happens even more later on in the game. Which I'm not going to talk about right now, because that spoils for Zohio. Oh, boy. Oh, this is huge. This is huge. They made the hallway much uh, wider. Do I need to shoot Pyramid Head? Or do we just run? Fuck it, boys. Let's go. Oh, there's a lot of windows here. Maybe we can shoot him easily. Yep. Oh, this cutscene. Run! I can't shoot! Dude! Am I supposed to dodge? Oh my god, that fucking spear is... Okay, same, same background noise. Her, her running is a little bit stupid. Oh my god. Oh, he's so angry. He's so angry, dude. There, an elevator. Can't you fucking sprint? Okay, I'm gonna shut up. Ouchy indeed. Hmm. So yeah, I, I think it's a bit weird they didn't sprint earlier. But they did it in the cutscene, but then again it happens before as well. I like the remixed music here. I like that they added that she fell. Makes more sense that she's behind. That felt good, especially with those uh, shoes of hers. Can't be that easy to run with. Maybe that's why she's not sprinting. <laughs> God damn it, I keep forgetting. But I mean, James could still sprint. It just felt like a, a nice little jog. Yeah, in the cutscene it looked good. I I like the sudden facial animation when she got um, thrusted. That, that, that was some true horror right there. I love the way she got dragged out and the door closed. Like, it was a sudden, cold, in-your-face. That, that was good. That was really good. Uh, and the opening of this area now, with uh, the focus on James, not so good. I don't know. There, there was something about James's expression that just, just it felt off. But then again, it could feel off in a good way. All things considered. It's very blue now, the map. But yeah. I'm not disappointed. At all. That was pretty good. Uh, I love the way uh, Pyramid Head moves and that spear. Oh. It's perfection. I don't think there's anything else to do here. The safe point, right? 
Ja. <coughs> But no shooting. That is a bit of a disappointment. And now we can finally see outside. Oh, here it is. So they added this note at the end of the hospital. All right, all right. But yeah, let's read it again. The potential for this illness exists in all people and under the right circumstances, any man or woman would be driven like him to the other side. So it's nice on, with context that we read this. The other side perhaps may not be the best way to phrase it. After all, there is no wall between here and there. It lies on the borders where reality and unreality intersect. It is a place both close and distant. Some say it isn't even an illness. I cannot agree with them. I am a doctor, not a philosopher or even a psychiatrist. Unlike the director. Okay, so that's new. But sometimes I have to ask myself this question. It's true that to us his imaginings are nothing but the inventions of a busy mind. But to him, there simply is no other reality. Furthermore, he is happy there. So why, I ask myself, why in the name of healing him must we drag him painfully into the world of our own reality? <sighs> Not run. Too late. I promise, Wendy, we will shoot her in the kneecaps. And if we can't do it in this version, we will make a mod on PC. That was the first mod I downloaded to Skyrim. Killable children. Oh, cathartic, I'll tell you. So what about the inner monologue here? They got rid of it? James has like an inner monologue with text here and they just took it away. It's all your fault. But what? So it's raining over here, but... What the fuck is this? Why does the rain just suddenly start exactly on this line? I mean, I could defend it and say, oh, this is some Silent Hill trickery, whoop de doo but no, 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 no. What is this? Unplayable. <coughs> That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, leave me be. 22 syringes. I wonder if this segment of the game is more open-ended. Wow! Fucking hurt, bitch. Uh, can we get this? Oh, never mind. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the familiar ambience. Whoa! Would you try to hide here? There are too many of them! Fucking gas everywhere. Well, they sure made the ambience a lot uh, louder and darker here.
Okay, uh, back to the vehicle. I think that was uh, shotgun shells. Where did you go? Ah. Yeah, you see, you see. You have these uh, cloth thingies to highlight. The shotgun shells are red. Uh, this sure is different. Where are we? Oh, we're going through Heaven's Night in Dark Silent Hill. That's a first. the f fuck? Why is it so loud? Laura, stop! It's dangerous! <laughs> okay. Uh, that, that voice delivery was kind of... He just lost Maria. And he has that voice? Oh, 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 it's a bit crowded here. What the? New cutscene? Oh. Alright, Rendell Street. We're heading to the wrench, but we haven't gotten a map pointing there. Right now we're we're playing pretty blind, which is nice. Just kind of aimlessly chasing Laura. But I feel like we've been doing that for a long time, haven't we? I mean, of course they do that in PS2 as well, you know. Laura is your main lead, as of now. But then again, in PS2 they mentioned the Lakeview Hotel in the Rosewater Park. So far in this game, they haven't mentioned the hotel at all. Which is, of course, the most important place in the game. But they haven't mentioned it yet. So it, it, there is no build-up. Knowing about it early on and then we just keep uh, wondering. Ah! Getting fucking comboed here. I'm dying, dude. Dude, they're everywhere. There are too many of them. I need to bring up my shorty, I'm dying here. Ah! 
No, 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 no. Are the nurses coming here or not? Oh, fuck. Oh, even more? Really scaling up the difficulty here. back inside. Insect. Oh, there you go. Ah! Dude! Uh, how do I use syringe? I have to go into the menu? Yeah. There we go. The first one we need to use. Oh, you hold it down. All right, thanks. I'm so happy to have the experts. But yeah, now I remember they, they told us in the tutorial, didn't they? My throat is killing me. I think I need to <coughs> call it soon and rest. Oh! <laughs> ah, no, 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 shorty. Who told you? even stomp him. What? Do I got the fucking sneak attack bonus on you? Okay, okay. Calm down. that sound yeah almost five hours on the stream already where does the time go I think I'll do it like this I'll um, wait with uploading the stream to YouTube and just uh, do the next stream tomorrow most likely and then I'll uh, put the two together into like one big nine hour part or whatever because uh, this first playthrough goes up on uh, my main channel, because it's Silent Hill 2 and everything. It's a little bit more <laughs> important than most games we play.
Laura, please wait. Ha! Ah, this sounds uh, a little bit irritated now and kind of giving up. Like on the verge of giving up. Please come on! Well, I guess uh, she's our waypointer now. Whereas in the original game, you got that letter and a wrench. Speaking of uh, that letter, about um, um, bold to be stared at from across the abyss. Where's that note? Are we not gonna have it? Oh, here we go. The Silent Hill 3 boys. Okay, back in town. No Whoa. rain. Where did she go? You sound so fed up with this shit. So yeah, we have a new, refreshed map. And uh, I don't know if we're gonna get the wrench in the Rosewater Park. We'll, we'll see. But the next main place is uh, Her Historical Society. I would assume. But we'll see. Uh, yeah, exactly. I'm just uh, looking around because we're gonna end the stream. Like you wanted. 10 out of 10. Yay. I'm just looking around. And then we'll save in there and uh, leave it for tomorrow. And it's almost exactly a five hour stream. Yeah. Man, this is great. This is some great art direction right here. The camper Neely's bar? Oh, here it is. Here we go. He who is not bold enough to be stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into it himself. The truth can only be learned by marching forward. Follow the map. There's a letter and a wrench. <laughs> okay, so they kept it. This is just 100% copy and pasted. The, the brochure and everything. And the map. I like it. So now we have it on the map, don't we? Yep, letter and wrench. But now it's up on uh, Cat Street. Instead of Lindsay Street. Okay. I guess it's a 1 out of 10 game in that case. That pillow looks very glossy. But it kind of makes me want to, you know, try it. There's, some, there's something off. <coughs> All right, then, my friends. With that, I want to thank you very, very much for joining me here today on this... Uh, Santa 2 Remake Part 2 stream. I've had a good time. The Brookhaven Hospital was uh, hell. But in a good way. A little bit of a hat head scratcher. Now we have some breath of fresh air being outside. And I can't wait to see the Historical Society building and uh, the cutscenes that do take place in there. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be amazing. Maybe they cook us something up uh, here in town before we leave. Good night, only Quop. May your dreams be as epic as your gaming moments. I don't know about that. Um, all right. <laughs> so, um, I'm thinking about something here. I'm thinking since I already ate during the stream, I don't need to eat so much now before heading uh, to bed and everything. And I kind of need to do my lucky ranks in F099, so I think I'll do that off stream. Just to chill and play a little bit handheld. Yeah, I'll I'll do that. It's gonna be weird for the YouTube recording to have a segment of F F0 in the middle of everything. So I'll end it here, and thank you all once again so much. Thank you, Wendy, for you know helping out, and uh, yeah. Keeping track of things as usual. I do appreciate that. Look forward to the next part. Most likely it will happen tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm just going to end the stream. I uh, don't need to raid right now. Take care, boys. And see you tomorrow.
Welcome back, YouTube! To, uh, day three. But it's still part two, because I'm gonna mash them together as one video. Hope everybody's doing great. I am excited. Very excited to continue with this playthrough. Because we're about to head into some very juicy stuff. Uh, namely the Historical Society building. And in the original, there was a lot of jumping down and jumping down and some spicy cutscenes here and there. So, let's hope they keep it up. I still hate this uh, loading screen. Ended off in this uh, house wagon. Recreational vehicle. It's uh, nighttime here in Silent Hill. It's very low volume. Hold on. Hopefully that's better. I do have generally a bit higher volume when I play story-based games. Uh, who had the bright idea of having a pre-rendered noise? We can go in here. Oh, shit. Um, I still think we are around 90 bullets, roughly. So we should be fine. It being normal and everything. I guess the stomp is an indicator that, you know, she won't get up. But there's a row hole! There's a risk she might, if you just do a normal smash. Uh, camera. I like the choice of uh, emote there. Good relaxing game on stream. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't wait for that uh, Dead or Alive stream, so you know, that you promised. Based streamer. Dude, they're everywhere now. Oh, they made it a little bit more linear. You can't uh, go everywhere. What the? No, 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 no. Oh shit, I think we're surrounded, boys. Let's need to get a good grip here. Woo! Oh, of course, they don't take damage from that. I can't wait for the Silent Hill movie. Question is... I mean, it's gonna be better than the latest movie. What was it, like 12 years ago or something? The Silent Hill 3D Revelations movie. It's gonna be better than that because the, the bar is extremely low. But the question is, will it be more entertaining? Because as I've said before, the Revelations movie is such a guilty pleasure of mine. It's so entertaining to watch because of how bad it is. It's bad in a good way. Ugh. But what if the new Santa movie is actually trying to be good and they just drop the ball completely? Whoa! Get out! Dude, they're so... James is so bad at sprinting away from enemies. There you go. Maybe because I'm abusing uh, dodge. Okay, this auto-aim is actually annoying because I was aiming at the nurse, but it's like... ...dragging it towards uh, the Mrs. Legs. If I ever play this on PC, I'll... ...most likely go with mouse and keyboard. That's gonna be pretty satisfying, just aiming without... ...any auto-aim. Aim for the head and stuff. Same thing with Resident Evil 4 Remake. I would love to replay that on PC at some point. <coughs> Don't we have like five? Wait, five uh, Silent Hill movies? No, we only have two. The first one is okay, you know, it's, it's alright. If you take it as its own thing. 
Like a retelling or whatever. Oh, that's the three-hit combo. Okay. Such a fucking tank. I sure hope hard mode isn't just a... Uh, a bullet sponge fest. I'd like it to be more... Um, glass cannon-ish. Welcome, Mr. Blot. Happy Friday to you. Oh, come on. Stay on your side! Wait, that, that deals damage? I thought it's uh, smearing blood all over the floor. Okay, grab uh, this shotgun. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> but guess what? Uh, what are you guys talking about? You know something I don't. So we're still going for the leather and wrench, but it, it's like the game is funneling you towards it, as opposed to PlayStation 2, where you can just wander around at your own leisure and maybe collect some items and recovery things. Oh, do you think I don't see that? Well, what was that? It was that like, oops, going back in place. I like that. It just feels like they have some kind of intelligence and they're trying to be smart and ambush you. Like a little bit cautious instead of just brain dead AI walking towards you as soon as you enter their line of sight or area of activation. I, I do like that it feels that they feel a bit more alive in that way. Oh yeah, true, true. Yeah, Windy is... I don't know what the current lead is, but when we checked, like, yeah, five minutes ago, Windy has one more kill than Mr. Bond. So you guys are fighting for world... <laughs> world first 1,000. Okay, I feel like there's a lot of enemies here. Let's head back. But we, we can check during the break. Who reaches 1,000 first. This girl is dangerous. She has a bit of a different animation. Gave up. Doc dodging skills. I respect. It's very simple in terms of button presses. It's just attack, move, and dodge. That's all you need to keep track of. But I feel like the, the dance is uh, engaging enough that it never becomes boring. Woo! Get your smelly ass back here. Oh, not you. Slippery boy. Wait until he turns around. blocking the way now. Here we go. But yeah, I, uplo I uploaded a short highlight of uh, the first stream on the main channel. It cracks me up every time. I mean, you guys were probably here before it live, but uh, if, you, if you missed it, like a golden moment in this playthrough, uh, check out the main YouTube page.
Mm-hmm. You see, that could have been a very freaky moment if you didn't have any... ...radio. Speaking of which, now when we have the heads-up display, is it possible? Wait, I don't want to do it now. Equipment. Turn off. Okay, nice. So you can turn it off. Let's try that for a little while. See how it feels. Okay, so this is uh, blocked off as well. We need to go through... That, that's the thing I like about this remake. They add so much more content uh, in the alleys. Like, in between the buildings and stuff. But in this particular part, they may sacrifice a lot of the free roaming. Very much so. Like, everything is cut off. And it's linear. So, less freedom than original. But more content in between the buildings and inside the buildings as well. So, yeah. It's a... Plus and minus, I guess. Yo, the jukebox! Do you have a theory about that? They're the most... Uh-oh... Here it is. So, okay, let me just quickly go over this. So, I, I'm pretty sure that in PlayStation 2, if you interact with this message, it will increase the likelihood of the in-water ending, suicide ending. But if you just look at it, it's fine. But I... Th I think for this playthrough, I've been very nice to James, healing him. I've been... T uh, looking on uh, Maria in the hospital. So I'm not gonna interact with that message for this playthrough. Even if it is the canon ending. Okay, so very quickly about uh, the high heels. The, the most generic theory people have about this game, and it's a, it's a bit overplayed in my opinion, is that everything, or like a lot of things in the game, especially the enemies and monsters, are a manifestation of James's sexual frustration. Which is why all of the enemies are kind of sexualized. Like, you have four legs instead of just two. You know, it's just sexy legs and a body. And that's all you need. It's just sex. That's all. The nurses, of course, the straight jackets the showing off their ass or whatever. So it's, yeah. It's from James's sexual frustration. Because when Mary was sick, he felt like he didn't have his life. He was just taking care of her. She was lashing out on him all the time, which we heard in a couple of cutscenes. He even said in one of the endings that I just wanted my life back, wanted, the, wanted your pain to end, so that's why he killed her. So, it, the, the theory makes sense, but it's a little bit too basic. It, it's hard for me to explain. But yeah, maybe James is just a really perverted guy. Or deprived or whatever. So he, he drinks a lot. We, we haven't heard about that in this game, have we? They only showed that when uh, Maria poured up a drink in the bar that he wanted to take the drink, but he didn't. But in the original, there is a flavor text about him drinking a fair bit to get away from pain and loneliness and stuff. So he's a heavy drinker. And he's very uh, sexually oriented or whatever you want to call it. So I don't know. But that's the beauty, you know? Do with it what you wish. Your own theory, your own interpretation of James. A horny piece of shit, yeah. You can see it like that. <coughs> you see, that's what I'm talking about! That's exactly what I'm talking about, right there! Without the radio, that, that was... That was a nice jump scare, I like it. Oh! Good thing you can interrupt your attack with the dodge. This game is keeping me on my toes. So yeah, answering more specifically, the high heels are, of course, uh, more feminine aspect. Maybe he has a thing for it. He likes it. But Maria doesn't uh, wear it. She's just wearing, like, boots with high heels. I don't know what um, the big difference is. Like, leather boots with high heels. Ah, 
I like this right here. There's like heavy ambience uh, up in front of us. And that makes it a bit unsettling to, you know, get closer to it. What are you doing under there, my boy? Come out and play. Fuck. Did I hit him? I think I did. Come on! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Pressed one time too much. I see right here. It's so ominous. Holy fuck, the audio design is good. Oh! Oh, dude, that tickles me in the best kind of way. A plus. Hello. I guess you can initiate an attack, and if you see them retaliate, you just dodge because you can interrupt. <coughs> yeah, yeah. So a, a common theory about um, uh, the the lip hanging body boss fight from um, from the hospital. You know, it it, it symbolizes. Um, but many people think uh, Mary being stuck in the uh, bed, being stuck in sickness, and uh, I, it sounds so weird when I can, because I can't really explain it without it sounding super silly. But it's like that mouth thingy, vagina. He's just thinking about sex or whatever, or mm, the lack of it. So he views his wife as a sick piece of shit trapped in the bed. And he's uh, deprived of something he needs. But then again, I, I don't want to make it sound like I am for those you know, overly sexually frustrated theories. Because I think it's just overplayed. Not everything uh, revolves around that. I definitely think aspects of what's going on revolve around it. But not everything. But yes, it does explain some things like why Maria looks extremely similar to Mary, but healthy, uh, more dominant, ah! and of course a bit sexualized. Dude, this enemy is so fucking hard. Especially with this 30th kiss, it's it's tough to see what she's doing sometimes. <coughs> Allo? Not allo. I love that. The, the super motion blur head is shaking. Nice, James. Dude, she's so tanky! Dude, that was like five shots! Maybe four. And a bunch of swings and she's still standing. Oh, now I hear the phone. <laughs> oh! Why don't you answer the phone, James? Yeah, I was a bit busy here. So, anyway. Anyway! Yeah, like I said, I hope it's not the bullet sponge. <coughs> it's gonna be like, like that Silent Hill 4 gag. I promise. I still haven't uh, re-listened to the cutscenes. I'll do that after my playthrough. No comment. Okay, calm down, boy.
Anyone there? Or perhaps you are a fool. Oh, they changed it over here. Or moved it, I should say. The truth usually betrays people. You should know. The key is in the park, at the feet of the praying woman. The wrench will open the gate. The key will let loose the abyss. Alright, so they, they changed um, some wording here and there, but the basic thing is the same. I sure hope the next part is on the other side. What? No! The lack of that extra text takes away another theory! The, the purgatory theory! Ass munch! Okay, ranting time. No, I'm not gonna rant. But, um... In that note, it's it's a doctor writ, uh, writing specifically to James. And he ends by saying... I pray the Lord have mercy on your eternal soul. So it ties into that theory of purgatory. And he's just stuck doing these loops over and over and over. Uh, until atonement. But nope. Took that away. And that's why I mentioned all these corpses that have uh, James's model, James's clothes, uh, some maps you find which are very, you know, old and bloody, have James's handwriting on them. It ties into the purgatory theory. But now, a big piece of that puzzle went out the window. Not a big piece, but it, it is there. Hot sauce. Seventy-nine cents for a beer? What year is this? Nineteen eighty-three. Uh, okay, so we need to, yeah, get the leather and wrench. Hold on. I'm looking for Mary. Got a letter from her. Felt to kill her once. Now I need to track her down and finish the gerb. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. <laughs> At least I don't think so. You've probably found someone else. Yeah, obviously that's why I need to finish the job. <laughs> okay, stop. We need to take this serious. Where's my fucking letter? Is it here? Oh. Oh, nice. I almost missed this. Yeah, I wonder, did James find someone else? Is that why Angela says that? Where she's just assuming things because she's so fed up with uh, <laughs> males, groovy music. Uh, I wonder which way is the right way so I can take the other way first. Uh, Grand Market we never entered, but I assume it's too late now. Yeah. There's not even a keypad anymore. So I guess we missed uh, that during our first trip here. Maybe we can do it next time. Gonna need all the resources we can get for a hard mode. And potentially 10 star ranking. We shall see if this game has that. Oh! Another mysterious photo. They're here. 10. There must be some significance with these numbers we're finding. Uh, well, I guess there is only one way to go. I'm not missing anything on this side, am I? Nah. Anything in the police car? Yes, sir. Some shorty. We should be 
good on uh, shells now. Oh, there's the door. Of course, they moved the, the door. It was on the west side on Cat Street, but now it's here. No more groovy music for us. Oh, wait. We still have uh, follower-only mode, don't we? Uh, I'll, I'll keep it. Unless there's a raid. <coughs> yeah, thanks. Oh, this... Okay, I was gonna say it looks like a boss arena or something. But the, the save point is right there, so there's no way. Should have been before. Oh. Did you hear that? The gasp on the right side. Okay, this is uh, actually very unsettling. The, the, the saving grace is the save point. Like, if the save point wasn't there, I would have been afraid. She called me fart face three times. Kind of wish she just played it cool. Oh, so... It's so fucking stupid, it just disintegrates. Okay, so the wrench, it was literally for the gate. I thought it was gonna be for the box. But now they changed it, so you need the wrench to access uh, the park, and then you find the key without needing the wrench. <laughs> what was that sound? Excuse me? No! It closes so fast. It's like a... No! No! Whoa, what is this? That's not the Nathan Avenue I'm uh, used to. Okay, here it comes. So we just had the save point. Now something is about to happen here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, these guys. I want to see what happens if you shoot them down. What? Oh, they scream in this game. That's new. I was not expecting that. And they spew some white sticky stuff? Oh, it's a tongue. I think we missed the special box, yeah. I don't recall him saying it where it is. Just like when the time comes, answer. So we need to find that on a uh, hard playthrough as well. Hey, that sound is from the prisoner. The invisible uh, prisoner. Yeah. It's the exact same sound. Why is it on this guy? Ah. I saw that. Okay, that's not worth the, the ammunition. Let's just keep going. Okay, so that's, I thought this segment was uh, taken out of the game. But they just moved it over here. That's freaky. I, I actually like playing without the... Um, the radio. I like being surprised by the enemies in the darkness. Because I, I want to be afraid. Like, I want to be scared of this game. Rosewater Park, round two. Oh, maybe they made something with this area now. Like enemies and stuff. It's a bit too quiet, though. Yeah, it's eerily quiet. Thank you. Looks like potato fucking Google. Wait, uh, the VOD? Do you mean my VOD?
Uh, this one we already read. Dude, my VOD is in 1440p. How can it be shit quality? Wait, wait. Uh, the last stream is not on YouTube yet. Because I'm gonna combine it into this video before I upload it. So where did you find it? <coughs> oh, it's still there, but it's unlisted, isn't it? That must be it. The Pitti Panda clip. <laughs> clip. We made a clip of that. Well, there's definitely not much to do or see in Rosewater Park this time around. Can't even get to the dock. There's no ice cream, there's nothing. Yeah, uh, praying woman. It's not on the map, is it? Uh, what? Well, it's to my right, apparently. Whoa! Are you... Are you feeling better? This place is different from what I remember. I guess... Things never really stay the same, do they? Oh. I guess not. I don't... I don't... think she's here anymore, James. Who? My mama. She doesn't... She doesn't want to see me anymore. Why would you think that? Anyway, I'm happy to see you. Happy to see me? Alive, I mean. Oh, yeah. I better get going. You still don't want me to go with you? If we stick together, we might just make it out of here. Out of where? This town. Silent Hill. No, it's fine. Okay. Oh, uh... You didn't happen to see a little girl around here, did you? A little girl? Yeah, I... Angela? Are you alright? Angela? No. Please. You shouldn't be here. Angela, it's okay. No, don't touch me!
All right, let's go. We have some uh, things to talk about. This time I did uh, remember to take notes. So let's uh, go through them. Uh, should be chronologically, of course. So first thing first, I'm happy there's a new cutscene. Specifically, I'm happy it's a new cutscene with Angela. Because we didn't have that many cutscenes with Angela. It kind of escalated quickly. Uh, let me see if I remember. Uh, see if I remember. So in the original game, you talk to her in that mirror room. And then the next time you see her, it's much, much later in the game. It's during that um, abusive father boss fight. And she's like completely on edge and angry and lashing out on you, thinking you only are after one thing. Which it, it still makes sense because we don't know exactly what she went through. We only caught a glimpse of it. But this new cutscene adds more momentum towards that climax or you know, that big thing happening later. So that's great. Really happy with this cutscene. Um, small note, when she said, nothing really stays the same, does it? It feels weird coming from someone who is like 19 years old saying something like that. It, it feels like someone who's older would uh, experience that more. Nothing not ever stays the same. But at 19... Uh, Spoiler warning for the original game, of course. Um, you know, having killing her father and escaping here. So, I mean, that's a big change, but um, I don't know. It's a small little detail. Um, I like it when she uh, says, she's not here, James. And then you can immediately uh, put yourself in James's perspective. He, of course, thinks about Mary. And maybe feels a bit attacked uh, for a split second there. Like, what? She, she's not here? And uh, maybe a little bit agitated. But no, obviously she's talking about her mother. And that's another big plus. Because in the original game, you only talk to her, you know, in those two cutscenes in the church and in the mirror room about finding her mama. And then they just drop that ball completely. They, they don't talk about it anymore. The next time she mentions uh, mama in PlayStation 2 is in that burning staircase when she's like, even mama said it, I deserved what happened. But she's not looking for her anymore. She's just dropping that completely. But then again, she could do that without telling James. He doesn't have to see anything. It happens, you know, behind the scenes. But uh, still, it, it's good that they bring it up here. So it refreshes our memory that, yeah, she's here looking for her mama. And yeah, can't find her and she's giving up. <coughs> Uh, I like that James says another one of those anyways. Like, anyway, I'm happy to see you. I was like, I, I was expecting her to also say anyway? Like, no. It it's just a little meme, I guess. And um, when James says, I'm happy to see you, she looks at James like he's a creep. Like, happy in what way? Like, I don't know. She, she felt a little bit put off by, by the way he said it. And that's because they're trying to drive home a kind of creepy predator type of side uh, from her perspective towards James. And he says, uh, don't you want to go together? Which is another step towards him. You know, he's reminding her of uh, her father and how he abused her. And so, of course, she has a lot of fucking trauma about this kind of stuff being abused by an older man. You thought she looked excited? I, I didn't see that, but maybe I need to... Huh. Maybe, maybe I interpreted it wrong. Because I was taking notes at the same time, so I need to rewatch it. But that's how I saw it, at least. So, yeah, when James says, you want to go together, she's, like, even more put off. Like, dude, get away from me. You're ge getting creepy, a little bit too close for comfort here. And she has all the right reasons to feel, you know, put off by this kind of stuff. She doesn't know James, and there's a lot of shit going around here, so I don't fault her for being on edge. Um, and then, yeah, he says, look for a way out of here. And she's like, where? And it's like, Silent Hill. I don't know, that, that, that part felt a bit unnecessary. Just hammering home the Silent Hill. I mean, they, they both know where they are. So I don't know what the deal was with that little segment. 
Uh, but yeah, then when he says, you haven't seen a little girl around here, have you? And she has no context for this. She has most likely not seen Laura at all. And that's another, like, part of her trauma there. Like, old guy looking for a little girl. We like, haven't seen her. He's... What is he really after here, James? She thinks. It's just super creepy. And then he tries to touch her, which I think is a step too far. But maybe James isn't the best at reading social codes, body language. I don't know. Maybe he's trying to comfort her. I don't know what the right and wrong thing is here. But yeah, I do like this. Because the way it ends with her storming off and feeling really creeped out about James. And traumatized, you know, remembering all the shit that happened to her. I think it plays really well into the next cutscene we're going to have with Angela, presumably that um, daddy boss fight. So yeah, A+. Plus. Amazing. This is uh, what I'm talking about when it comes to a remake. Adding things that make sense. <coughs> Still, once again, not entirely sold on Angela's performance, but that's just my opinion. Oh, well, may maybe it comes here. Let's see. Yep, yep, here it is. Nice. My patient buried it here. I knew, but did nothing. It may be uneasy to have such a thing near. I wasn't looking for the truth. I was looking for tranquility. I also saw that thing. I fled, but the old society was sealed. No one dares to approach that place. Now, I offer you the key. If you still do not wish to stop, James, I pray to the Lord to have mercy on your eternal soul. Nice. It's here. It's here. They're just moving things around a bit. <coughs> mm. Off to the historical society. And we also saw Angela running off in this uh, direction. So it makes sense that we find her there later. Alright, so in this part of town, is there anything to do? In uh, night time? Music? Guess is no. But there might be a little secret. Some neat uh, detail, and I don't want to miss out on it. This isn't locked anymore, but he still can't open it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the. Oh! Well, that's what I'm. Oh, hello! That's the Halo of the Sun! I didn't think that was in this game! That's Silent until 3 shit! Why is it here? Oh, this is super interesting. Okay, so let me quickly bring it up to you guys so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, do, do, do. Images. Silent to uh, Hilu. Uh, okay, so here you have uh, Halo of the Sun. How it looks in its full glory. It seems to be exactly the same, same markers and everything. And that was first shown in Silent Hill 3, if I'm not mistaken. And, um,. It symbolizes many things, and that's why it's so interesting. Does that, you know, fall into this game as well, what it symbolizes? And very quickly and basically, the three circles... I'm going off memory here. It's a bit fussy. But the three circles represent past, present, and future. And then the different symbols on the out outer ring represent things like rebirth and, uh, uh, yeah, death. And it symbolizes many things. So, yeah, it's, in it's interesting that it's here. Damn. 
they, they put it here for a reason, so I mean... Huh. Oh. Kind of off to hear this the ambience music with the piano. It's like playing Breath of the Wild here. Oh, sure, I'm happy we went in here. We caught that uh, detail. That opens up so many questions for me, ha having uh, Halo of the Sun be here. Because uh, Sand Hill 3 is very much about uh, a cult. And the ritual and uh, birthing a new god. Uh, but I'm very rusty with my Sand Hill 3 lore. So it just it begs a lot of questions right now. But I, I'm probably just looking into it way too deep. Alright, we do have uh, a little break coming up here. It's a good spot to take it. Not much, uh, not much going on right now. Ah, looks a little fortress. Okay, I'll take a quick break here, my friends, and I'll see you soon. Welcome back to some more Silent Hill. I need to restart the capture card real quick. Give me a sec. Headphones. Man, the prison is going to be terrifying without uh, the radio. Oh, that's nice. You can see the building silhouettes in the fog. Because apparently we can go through here. Maybe we can head into the Boulderama. So, hiya. Let's go bowling. No can do. I gotta work. Well, this ain't um, Heaven's Night anymore. Again. Maria! I thought that thing killed you! I was thinking about that cutscene uh, today and what she really means with those words. She says, James, honey, did something happen to you after we got separated in that long hallway? And I was pondering, long hallway? Which one does she mean? She could mean, uh, of course, what I th thought for the longest time, the long winding hallway when we escaped from Pyramid Head. But she could also mean the... What the fuck is... Oh. Um, you know, the long hallway uh, in the hospital where she, you know, went into one of the rooms and rested. We got separated in that long hallway. I mean, that's a 
bit far-fetched. Or maybe she means uh, something from, you know, their past. Because she's really talking about Mary stuff in that cutscene. Remember that time in the hotel and everything? Oh. So a long hallway in the hotel? I I'm still leaning towards it being the long winding hallway when we escape from Pyramid Head and we get separated from her perspective. But yeah. Moldy pizza, sad times. I'm gonna head to the end of the street and see what happens. Man, I really want to get a new PC soon. I know I say that all the time, but now I want it for this game. I want it for Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Resident Evil 4 Remake, I would like to replay on that. And some other games. Elden Ring would be cool. I didn't notice the pizza it changed from the first time we were there. But maybe it did. Okay, so we already went past, but we'll see if anything changed over here. Nope. Some kind of line right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but like... It's like a seam. But it's most likely the other side. I wonder if the Your Ad poster is still here. It's like a blank canvas and it says Your Ad. It's a personal favorite of mine. But nah. These haven't changed. I like what I saw in uh, Sohayo's um, PlayStation 2 playthrough with these uh, straight jack. No, uh, leg. Mrs. Leg uh, enemies just jumping out from the forest. <laughs> but they don't have it here anymore. It looked so weird and cursed. Added lights here so you don't miss it. I'm just gonna look at the boat launch. But yeah, uh, I didn't mention this in my PS2 playthrough, but uh, th this is the biggest example of where the world warps around James and makes no sense. Because you end up jumping and going down a long way in the historical society, but you end up in the boat launch. So I mean, right, right there is big clue as not everything is a, as it seems. And he's getting pretty screwed in the head, losing sense of reality, which plays into the hotel first being uh, fine and then moldy and burnt down. We'll see if they can capture that as well. Oh, I like that you have uh, that painting in front of you this time. Welcome to the historical society, my friends. There's a piece of... Oh, tea. That's just tea bags. I'm expecting greatness. <coughs> and also a bit of horror. Because uh, I, I think uh, the prison, uh, this whole area in the original game is the scariest part of the game. Has the most freakish uh, ambience and uh, yeah, the whole thing warping around and... Eddie losing it, Angela losing it. It just all feels so wrong and cursed. The new clock. Uh, that, is, that is a weird number, but I, I guess 17. Wait, what was that? Oh. Little pig, war, warthog lady, I don't know. Here's the boat! This one had a role in the Silent Hill arcade game. Oh my god. The Maiden Voyage. The 
Lady of the Light, the unveiling of one of two statues commemorating the local folk tale. Oh yeah, Maria talked about that. But even when he was gone, she still went there. A violin. This is... Huh. Now, where is this? And why is it here? Oh! Can we read these? No. Misty day remains of the judgment. It's him. Oh, now James says it out loud. It is him. Hey, the obsidian goblet. It's on a painting instead. Waterfront landscape. Alan Smith. Date of birth and death unknown. A depiction of the local area. The style indicates it was done sometime around the 1820s, when the region was far less populated with sparse infrastructure. Well, that would have been interesting to see. Oh, I like the staircase. Oh, oh, that that's good. That looks so nice. Wilts Coal Mine. Established around 1850, it remained operational until the early 1900s. The mine played a key role in the revitalization of Silent Hill. Now, I'm not so sure about the whole coal mine thingy being a part of the original games, but the movie added it, and now they are adding it into it. From the movie? I don't know. Maybe they did mention a coal mine. Brookhaven Hospital, 1880. The hospital was built in response to a great plague that followed a wave of immigration to the area. Originally, it was a little more than a shack, but has since expanded into a fully-fledged medical establishment. Well, I like that we can hear ambience from this... Uh Super staircase coming up. Oops, <laughs> wrong button. So that's the former director of Brookhaven Hospital. Didn't we see his name before? Like uh, in PlayStation 2? Maybe not. Oh, wow, that is a lot of text. Uh, <coughs> I'm just gonna. Like, speed read it until I see something that's extra interesting. Yeah, witchcraft, huh? To a small island out on the lake. Suffer a slow death. Well, Maria never told us this part of the story, did she? Row across the lake. I like this story because it ties into what James will do later. Row across the lake to the hotel. Speaking of the hotel, they still haven't brought that up in this play, in this story. So we're gonna bring up the hotel at the very end? Just, there's no build-up. You're just going there. It's just another random place. It can't take this long for James to remember there was a hotel they stayed at when they visited Silent Hill. It's a pretty big thing, right? Because in the original, Maria asks, is this your only special place? And then he remembers, oh yeah, there's the hotel too, I guess. You know, it makes sense. They, they fucking stayed there. But in this story, they're not bringing up the hotel at all. And oh wait, I'm, I'm not focusing on the text now because I'm off the, on this tangent. But in this next Maria cutscene, when she asks this uh, thing, uh, when, when she says, 
you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? If they don't bring up the hotel until this point, I mean, before this point, then that line will make less sense or have less impact because there's less build-up to the hotel. Okay, I'm done ranting. To a watery grave. Hmm. Yeah, there, there's definitely some meta commentary right here with James and the canon ending being a watery grave. As a metaphor and a cautionary tale rooted in reality, religious persecution such as that of Alessa Gillespie. Is that what they're trying to say at the very end? Are they gonna bring in the story from the first game? I mean, it's called Silent Hill 2 for a reason, but no. But th that must be. Religious persecution, Alessa Gillespie. I mean, it's just, it's too good. It, it must be. The founders. What a bunch of chaps. Oh, hello. You're gonna see this soon. It is time for the big staircase, my friends. Are you ready? Hey, the Foghorn is here. Still see the light? You can. Little dot of light right there. I like what the remaster did here. They just replaced the foghorn with the uh, footsteps. That's a joke. It was fucking abysmal. I should have included that in my comparison video, but I... I forgot. Okay, they did not cut down on the staircase. It feels just as long as before. Uh, well, we can't see the light anymore. It really is a one-to-one -one remake right now. Same audio, same foghorn. Yeah, this is the same, I think. Wow. What's the deal with these things? Have crawling boys here, yeah. What you gonna do against this? <laughs> now we're talking spooky atmosphere. Fuck yes. Dude, I need to play this game alone. Holy shit. I mean, the, the original game still gets to me if I play it alone with headphones. I, I can imagine this game will do that too. Speaking of religious persecution, this is new. I mean, the text is not, but the images. Crimson and white banquet for the gods. I see some um, pyramid head uh, things here. 
It looks a bit silly. But okay. Death by skewer ring. I like that. An execution at the prison. Death by skewer ring or strangling to choose his death at the prison. It's the prisoner's last taste of freedom. And here's the prison camp. So this is all copy and pasted. Toluca prison camp, 1862. The camp was used to house prisoners during the American Civil War. Converted into Toluca prison in 1866. I love the art direction in this game. They, they just nailed it. Here we go. But I wonder, are they just gonna copy and paste the original? Because it's room for room and text for text, one to one. I'm not complaining, I'm just, huh, I'm curious. Oh, so we initiate the jump. Yeah. Oh, there's several steps to it. I like this. He's hesitating and heavy breathing. <laughs> Trapped in the well. I sure hope- Oh no, they fucked this up. They just made it very visible that you can get out. Whereas in the original there was an illusion in the beginning that- Am I stuck here? I can't get out. But now we have these clear indicators. I mean, there's there's several of them, so one of them must be the right. But it was pretty creepy to feel like you were stuck. <laughs> yeah, I just- Keep going until you find the right one. There we are. Oh, it's in a prison cell this time. This place looks good. And where are the straight jackets? Oh, they're on the ground. But there is no water ripple or anything. Mm hmm. Should be one more guy. No. But yeah, it really is. Room for room, the same thing. So this one is closed. And then we have this room to the right. Come on, man! <laughs> it's so interesting because everything else has been uh, remade. Like the Woodside Apartment, Blue Creek, Brookhaven, Heaven's Night. Everything has been remade. But this place is a one-to-one -one remake, so it just... It's... I don't know. It, it messes with my head. I need to check this first. We don't have a battery this time. Okay, they kept the same camera angle. Nice. But you can't go out here. Wait, you can see this hallway is normal from this perspective. So what do we do now when we don't run out of battery? Are we still gonna get bombarded by insects? Yeah, this is also the same. 
red light. Hey, there's the purgatory key. I'm happy that made it. Tis doubt which leadeth thee to purgatory. Yeah. Nice. Okay, they're keeping that. Aha! Do you take damage now? Okay, so only the um, the bigger insects hurt you. What the fuck? Oh, dude, the headphones. Oh, I don't like this. It's like insects crawling around my ears. Let me out. Oh, fucker. Ah! Where are you, boy? Oh, you stop it right now. Men for helvete! They're stopping me from inputting the code. They don't do that in the original. Okay, uh, three, two, nine. Get away from the keypad, please. I tried every combination. Oh, are they gonna stay in there? Or did they disappear? Oh, they disappear. Okay. You didn't like that audio, Windy? I think it was extremely well made. They captured the essence of that room very well. A bit annoying that they hurt you when you're trying to input, but... Uh, it, it adds to the panic, in a way. Because you need to try all the combinations. And when, them, when they interrupt you, they may also throw you off. What you have tried and what you haven't. Oh. Yeah, very well done. Here we go again. Oh, we have a good cutscene coming up, I think. Oh, it doesn't start. Okay. Now, where's the painting with uh, James's corpse? They, they made this uh, cafeteria place much bigger, which I like. It makes sense if there were so many prisoners here. One grits with lard, boiled meatloaf, beans, bread and coffee. Oh, why do I have the shotgun? How do you change weapon? There you go. Ew! Oh, fuck. Speaking of shivering, this is nasty. I like it. Alright, the cutscene is about to start. Now that's what the horror game is all about. It makes you uncomfortable, but in a good way. Ah, uh, so it's just a memory this time. The gluttonous pig. Okay, so check this out. This is uh, the corpse uh, over there by the light. But on this uh, photo, you can see it much clearer in the remake. It's uh, James. You see? Blue pants. Green coats. Uh, blonde? Yeah. You know? It's James's corpse. Ties into the purgatory theory. But over here, you know? Here it doesn't look like James. But in the painting it does. And you can see this detail in the original as well, but it's much, much easier here. So maybe they wanted you to see it. That's why they yeah, moved it over there. Okay, the cutscene must start now. Let's go.
Ain't no big deal. Just put the gun to their head and pow. Eddie. Oh. Uh. Hi, James. What happened here? Who was that? I don't know. He just came at me. Okay. So he attacked you. And you shot him. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He made me do it. Okay, calm down, Eddie. Any idea why he would do that? I don't know. He came out of nowhere. He tried sneaking up on me in the dark. I heard footsteps, so I turned back, and he was right there. And you could tell that he wanted to hurt you. Oh, yeah. I mean, the way he looked at me, I just had to do it. He looked at you? I thought you said he came at you. Yeah, I mean, I, I could see it in his eyes. His eyes? He kept looking at me, making fun of me. I told him not to, but uh, he didn't listen. Eddie, you can't... You can't just kill someone because the way they looked at you. <laughs> you should see your face, James. I was just joking. The guy was dead when I got here. I got you, didn't I? <laughs> well, anyway, I better get going. Wait. You're gonna go out there alone? Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the subtitles were a bit off. But ooh, that was juicy. That was good. They nailed it. They it changed it quite a bit. They rearranged some of the wording and the tone. But yeah, they, they nailed that cutscene. The new Eddie is amazing. It's that perfect off feeling. Creepy. Like, can't really read him. He's like out of it. Off in his own world. Oh, oh, that was so good. Um, so the, the first uh, quote is uh, like a... It, it's iconic. You know, killing a person ain't no big deal. But they made it less funny and more serious this time because they took away the killing a person ain't no big deal to make it more subtle that he killed a person. And then they put the gun to the head, pow. Th that was all very well delivered. It's It's different from the original Eddie. He's more comedic in his delivery, but uh, this one, it, 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 it definitely feels off. It, it is horrifying, the, the way he's <laughs> evolving, or <laughs> whatever you want to say. Uh, I, I think they may have dragged out the cutscene a little bit. Like, I, I perfectly understand that James is questioning him because he wants to make sure that, did he want to attack you? What did he do? And then he just looked at you. And there was a pause, and then another question, a pause. It was dragging out a little bit, maybe. But then again, it's a dire situation, and James really needs to know here if he's dealing with a nutcase or if he's just tried to defend himself. And I was really expecting uh, Eddie to lash out for the first time here. Um, just for that, you killed him. He was gonna say, w what do you mean just for that? So now I let all- I always let people walk all over me. Just like that stupid dog. He had it coming too, so he didn't mention the dog, which means there's no build up to that yet. Maybe they just take it out completely, that he killed a dog. That could be. Um... But yeah, he didn't lash out. Which I kind of wanted him to, but we'll get there. 
But I, I, I love I love the long pause when Eddie gives up and just goes for another solution to this um, confrontation. It's a long ass pause, and then just look at you. You should look at yourself, oh, James. I love it's good, and the the joke and just heads out. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan. But it does it does make me wonder uh, about the the dog thingy. If they're gonna continue build off on that or just leave the dog out completely <coughs> but it is um, one of the characters or the character they made just so much better in my opinion the, the original Eddie was a little bit too comedic a little bit too fooling around but then again that was just his pers personality or style or oh, the rifle is here but th this Eddie is really good. Like you can you can take him seriously. Rifle. So yeah, they made this uh, part like a little uh, hub area. A lot less prison cells. Wow. Oh, they have a chapel instead. Oh, that's cool. He is definitely more serious now, which I do like. Because what he does is very serious. It's very fucked. And way too far. They still haven't found him since he had the cabinet key. We should assume one of the prisoners got his hands on it. Get the spare from the witness checkpoint and uh, secure the rifle before it falls into the wrong hands. And then what's with the faces here? E even at in this last cutscene in the original, Eddie was still playing around. I was like, let's party! Before the boss fights. But then again, he's a nutcase. He's just a complete lunatic, lost all sense of uh, right and wrong. So I still think the original Eddie works. It's just that in terms of a horror game and being horrified of a character, I, I think this is more effective. Huh. Look at this. Fucking torture confession. It's interesting. They're bringing in uh, the religion tone or whatever part of Silent Hill into this game. The prisoners do not feel remorse. In fact, they do not feel themselves to be sinful at all. Even the simplest of them will try to shield themselves from the Lord's gaze with what little words they know. And so they dream blissfully the sinners that they are. For no matter how foul, uh, foul and loathsome one's existence may be, human nature abides. Thanks for the hydration, man. The heaviest weight. Why should I be afraid of you? Whoa! Little bitch! James! Huh? Was that from the speaker or? This is a fucking trap. Woo! 
creepy crawly. Oh, it's it's only temporary. It's a fucking masterpiece this game. I thought it was gonna explode. Now it did. Oh! Does something bad happen if I'm in here when it's dark? There must be a reason why it's temporary. What am I doing in here? Hey Mitsu! I said that's a puzzle now? Dark equals bad in these kinds of games, but that's just me. Oh? Uh, would you care to elaborate on that? It's interesting. Oh, okay, you were just joking. I thought you actually meant, like, um, it's not your cup of tea. Like, uh, horror games rely way too much on the dark. That's a bad thing, in my opinion. But it was just a joke. I get it. How nice of you to be patient. Oh, there's next one. The oppressor. It's an ambush. I need to hear this uh, in Shinra. They, they got the, um, the whisper in the apartment. See my dead wife. They, they got... Um, oh, there was another good one. What was that? Like these Easter eggs. They, they got all of them. They need, they need to get the, the invisible prisoner as well. Old school Resident Evil games weren't literally dark around, but still managed to capture that unsettling am atmosphere. Yeah, th th that's what I was trying to <laughs> uh, think, what you meant. It, it, it's similar to my critique that most horror games rely on cheap jump scares to be scary. It's the same thing. What? Ah! <laughs> Fucking, that's the worst m pain sound he, he can make in this game. <coughs> but yeah, that's another thing. It, it can be very typical of horror games to just be dark, dark, spooky, dark. This game uh, strikes a very good balance. It doesn't have uh, cheap jump scares in your face. I'm actually welcoming it because I turned off the radio. And so I can't hear when enemies... I saw him. When enemies are around a corner or something. And so they, they jump scare me more. But they, it's not the, you know... A screaming face up in your face. That's what I mean. Okay, so we got... Wait, what? What's the... Oh, that was the door, yeah. Hey, champs! You need to play this game. It is amazing, just like you. The cell is to be cleaned up by Tuesday. Make sure you get the cons to 
to what? Get the co coons? Cons? Do it by then. The previous tenant has been moved to death row as per warden's order. So different animals. I like that there's um, like a top layer on this prison where the wardens go around and oversee everything. Now, where's this uh, crawling enemy? That was fucking freaky. Could be anywhere. Ooh. Okay, so out in the yard, we need to hear these uh, horse uh, tr tramples, or what do you call it? Galloping. But first, we'll save. It's a little bit too dark now when we when I, when I mention it. Okay, so this would have been extremely freaky for me if I didn't know that in the original game you can hear horses running around you, but there's nothing there. But this could, the, the audio design is so good. It sounds like it, there's something in this room with you. And maybe they did add horses here. But I don't think so. I think they're just playing. Playing with you. But we don't hear it that often. That's a shame. Oh, <laughs> that's so good. <clears throat> Wait, can we read? Yeah. Pull ye, but once a, uh, pull ye, but once on a rope's frayed end. Choose the one justified from among the damned. Seek out their tales. Think upon each sin, or let blind fate choose. Let the judgment begin. So the hanging puzzle is here instead. We need a lever for the hanging bodies. Yeah, you see? They put the hanging bodies in this room instead, which makes sense. I like that. Oh, the weight. Here are the animals. So now the snake door is opened. Oh! Isn't it just fancy pants? Just had a five minute Discord call and it feels like you missed half the game. I mean, yeah. Yeah, don't let the stream stress you, Windy. Do what needs to be done. The yeah, snake room is open now, so let's head in here. You didn't miss much, to be honest. Just uh, going around in dark uh, jail cells and exploring. You didn't miss any cutscenes or anything. Nothing too story related. But they, they did move uh, some puzzles around, which I like. Penguins can fly? No, they can jump. Crawling little shit sack.
A reminder to all guards, effective immediately, it is absolutely mandatory for everyone to familiar familiarize themselves with the revised generator maintenance manual. We all remember what happened last time there was a spike, though I'm certain most of us would very much want to forget. We will not have another incident. So God help me. You are no more crawling around for you. Yeah, I don't understand the whole lighting timer. Uh oh. Hey, having a good time in there? It's just way too fucking dark. He didn't see anything, did he? Oh, yeah. Hello? What's with the music? We will be together soon. There's another creepy crawly. Well, at the very least, I do have a map so I can see what I've checked. What was that? Oh, 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 I love these crawling enemies above you. Stop it! Yeah, I'm not. I'm. I'm playing without the radio for the rest of the game. I just love this. Is having enemies randomly around you. Jumping on you when they get the chance. Fuck you! Excuse me? What do you mean, yes, please? No, 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 no. Where did you... Think you can outsmart me? I know it. <laughs> well, at least uh, the prison is uh, remade. But everything up to this point has been copy and pasted. Which is it's, it's still fine. Sound it makes. Nah, nah, do you, you, you stay put, sir. Oh, there are more of them. Gotcha. I need more light. Uh, too fast, dude. Okay, this one lasts for a while. One more dick stain somewhere. Where did you go? My lovely. I wanna know. <laughs> what do you do, my boy? Let me put you out of your mystery. You want to do this the hard way?
Yes, please, says Fage. Ah! Dude, I was looking at chat and then I looked up and it was right in my face. Oh, God, dude. You syringe, dude. Okay, ad break. Bye bye. You. Hello. Ah. Okay, did I check every room so far? I did. So we need to enter it from north. Yeah, man. Hello. Can you swallow on the telephone? <laughs> no Swedish! Ban him. Whoa, that is a lot of cables. I will take a deserve. This deserved save. Pet the cutie. Pet the streamer. For talking IKEA, yeah. <laughs> it was so funny when um, I, I talked Swedish in one of the streams and Groman was like, whoa, whoa, as soon as you did that, all the IKEA furniture started hovering and moving. <laughs> but stop talking Swedish, dude. <laughs> Safety instructions, pay attention. Power le transfer levels. Green maintenance level used to test before each use. What? Used to test before each use. Yellow optimal level. Maintained for safe operation. Why, why is the yellow area optimal? Hmm. But yeah, I guess in terms of safety. Red danger. Do not operate. Can result in power spike and system overload. Well, from what I read before, I guess we need... Uh, I guess we want this. Wait, I need to restart capture card. I tried to do that between every break. Uh, use... Bring up the juice. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Pull it. No, that was optimal level. It didn't work. Maybe middle? What about now? We need to test before each use. Is that it? So now? I don't get it. It's like speaking IKEA rituals. Yeah. Angry, incoherent rambling. Is that what Welsh, Welsh sounds like? I guess the equivalent would be Swedish and Danish. It just sounds like oatmeal sometimes. <coughs> Angry oatmeal. Ooh, execution room. Okay, so can I can I do this puzzle now? I guess so. It says generator. Uh, there's a question mark over here, which we can we reach it? Nah. No, we can't. Guard room E4 was open. E4 didn't lead to any other room, did it? Oh! This is the boy. Uh, E4? Uh, where was E4? Is it 15? Oh, it's on the other side, my bad. does not lead to anything. Well, uh, I guess we have to do the generator puzzle now. Let's see, previous map. Because that's what... Uh, yeah, Headless Serpent. That's the area we are in right now. So, rifle cabinet. That's not for progress. Uh, scales. 
block B. Oh, th this was um, the ox to the north. No, the ox is here. Never mind. Up here was something else. But uh, we'll, we'll try to finish uh, the serpent area. But I don't understand this uh, generator puzzle. Green for testing before each use. Yellow was optimal, but nothing happened. And red, red caused a spike. So, I mean, we read something about a spike before, didn't we? Like, do not do this. Oh, we can't read it here? I feel like that was pretty important, but we can't read about it anymore. Nope. Well, fuck it. I'm going ham. Can the ambience uh, cool down a little bit, please? Yes! Woo! Everyone is so angry now. Whew, that th this alarm sound I can I can feel it in my controller. It's so oh it's so unsettling. Hey nice, medium weight. Started speedrunning Mario Odyssey. Oh, it's not a bad game to speedrun. Comfy chair. Kitchen mechanic. Oh, did we open up every lock? Oh, we did! So that's what the spike told us about. Okay, get him! You're next. Woo! El Toro, I'll show you how to die. Ninja style. That made no sense. I'm having the best of time here. Okay, okay, next. There's enough steel pipe for all of you. You can't hit me through the wall. Can't say I'm the biggest fan. Especially with every room looking the same. Uh oh. Gotcha. Kind of uh, missed your footing there, James. Okay, so we are on the way out, but we can't. We need to go out. Huh? Oh, I guess we'll check every cell then. Oh, maybe here. Have mercy! After you scrub my dick. <laughs> that was a reference, but I kind of paraphrased it a little bit. Oh no! Woo. Holy fuck! That was gonna be a Zelda CDI quote after you scrubbed all the floors in Hyrule, but then I remembered I already used that quote like two days ago. So I need to change it up a bit. <laughs> Don't question me. I live behind the couch. That's kind of what I do. I just, no, I don't live behind the couch. I mean, I, I just do random quotes. As a part of my normal speaking. Like, I don't actually know English. I'm just quoting. Lamp oil. 
It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough boobies. Bombs? Oh, look at this. Prisoner E662, age 23, sex male. No thanks. Uh, electrocution. Witnesses zero. During last night's execution, the prisoner assumed to have been disabled, simply stood up and approached the chair without any assistance. From now on, take utmost care when reviewing the prisoner's medical history. Guards need to be made aware, aware how capable the prisoners are in order to avoid any incidents. How the fuck does that work? Yeah, you tell me. Armory! Okay, I don't think I missed anything of importance. Why is the women's bathroom bigger than the men? The, the men? Oh no. Better have a good fucking excuse for this. I'm just kidding. Toilets? You're saying... In the center of Sand Hill lies the town's major tourist attraction, Toluca Lake. But there is a darker side to this scenic, beautiful reservoir. What may seem a bread and butter local ghost story you've heard time and time again, in this case rings surprisingly true. One fateful day, fog-bound November day in 1918, a tourist cruiser called Little Baroness has set sail never to dock again. Newspaper articles reporting the event contain no details of the ship's disappearance, despite an in extensive police search. Neither a single fragment of the ship nor the remains of the passengers of the crew have, been ev have ever been recovered. But in 1939, an even more bizarre incident has taken place. Who knows how many souls were taken by the waters of Toluca Lake? Do the eyeless skulls of the damned stare hopelessly at the surface from below, yearning for a breath? Or was their mysterious fate different altogether? So that's like 90% the same, this text. But they did change it up a bit, so that, yeah, it's nice. Who said anything about sexism? Give it to me, please. Sure hope this weapon doesn't suck this time around. We are off to uh, the scales. Also want to see what animal this was over here. No, 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 no. Whoa, that's a jump. There's so many of them. Ah, the boar. Be careful now. So, can I choose now? Or is it... Um... Got it. We're going ox, baby. They can't catch me. I'm too fast. Aha! Hey, 
Okay, second floor, here we go. Oh no. That's a generous hitbox, thank you. Dude, they're everywhere! We are commencing hugging left wall. Saw someone walking around to pass lights out again. Whichever one of you... I can't concentrate with these enemies. That was. Do I need to remind you that you must never leave your post without prior clearance? Next time I catch you, I'm reporting you to the warden. Excuse me, where were you? James, aim upwards! can't see like 20% of the screen. I mean, I can only see 20% of the screen. What's this? It is bad to take when they own, they said they own. When no, when one does own, the other can't take, but I cannot own. Should the warden take? No, he shouldn't own again. I will take, I will own. Well, that ties into them um, talking about the prisoners barely knowing, uh, you know, words. Just fucking around. Oh no, you added that quote? Omnipotence? <laughs> oh shit. That's quote number 150, yeah! Here we go! Technically, it's not. Because a lot of quotes have been... Uh, <laughs> have been uh, deleted because of misspelling. Not, um, you know, pointing out anyone in particular here. <coughs> Polish benevolent. What? Pterodactyl keyboard cat. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that is a URL name for sure. Welcome to my boge. That will be five ninety nine. There's one of the earlier quotes. Yeah, there you go. It's a good thing we're not including chat in the YouTube vod. This does not need to be seen. Cell block D. Endearing gifted eyeball forehead. Gifted eyeball. YouTube must be so confused right now. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, let's see here. <coughs> Sunday, morning route. Disruption reported C-140, yelling about C-777, haunting him. Claims bars can't hold him. Administered sedative to C-140. Noon, lockup. Performed a precautionary search of uh, 777 cell. D-5. No traces found of uh, the prisoner leaving his cell unsupervised. Recommended further psychiatric evaluation of 140. Afternoon route, 140 and uh, C777 missing from their cells. Alarm raised, search in effect. Update bathroom door, barred from inside. Effort made to get them open. We don't hear anything from the other side. Evening lockup. Join the Twitch chat live for complete madness. It's not my fault. I'm technically not part of this chat. I will bear no 
responsibility to what you guys are saying. This is all recorded offline and Orkath is insane. And everyone is an AI. I do have a tendency to talk to myself, yes. But this is pushing it. This just leads back to where we start? No, it did not. Wait, we didn't check this room over here. Are any of us real or are we just figments of the universe's imagination? I I'm more on that uh, theory. You're definitely more real than a fake streamer pretending to play games. Ow! Now that hurt. That, that is personal. Because my very first Let's Play commentary I did, it wasn't even me playing. I pretended to play. I recorded the gameplay offline. And then talked over the gameplay. Because my English was so fucking bad. I needed to, you know, put focus on gameplay first. And then 100% focus on commentary. I couldn't do both at the same time. I'm not joking. Were we done there? So it just felt very cringe when I was pretending to be playing. When I already knew exactly what was gonna happen. Uh, go up again, please. <clears throat> Where's this lower levels map? Where's the f second floor we were just in? There's so many floors here. There we go. Uh, C4 is locked. We tried every door there. Staircase. Uh, we did get something. Yeah, we got the block D key. And block D is uh, where? Block A, block B. Oh, it must be up here. Oh my lord. It's right in front of me. Uh, block D is to the left. I mean west. Get off my seat! But why can't I... Huh? Can't shoot through the bars? I thought you were... Okay, I'm gonna have a word with the warden. This is not a safe place to work. Next one. Dude, I can't tell what's going on with these 20 frames per the second. Uh, where was Block D? It's in here, right? Why the fuck can I, I, I can't use the, the key? Huh? I'm so confused. I, I need to have time to look at my items, but there are enemies all over the place. Take it easy. Cell block D. And then it says block D right here. And there's a locked door. But why the fuck can't I go in? Oh my god, dude. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Didn't mean to hit the window. Uh, confusing to say the least. Isn't this kind of uh, in unintuitive game design? They give you a block D key. Here is block D. Here's a locked door and it doesn't work. Hmm. Am I stupid or is the game stupid? Oh, 
Oh, here we go again. It's clearly not for this door. This is block C. James, you s Oh my god. You know, as freaky and cool as these enemies are, it's getting on my nerves. me oh my god stop there was another entryway I can't see anything it's so dark Wait a second. Well, what's the point of this area? I didn't get anything here, did I? I, why did they give me a key to this place if, if there's nothing here? Here we go. Oh, shiv key. Shame you didn't find it. Shouldn't you know this place better than I do? Now it's too late. I'm going for a walk. Clever boy. Here's your reward. I'm going to pay a visit to my friend. We could both use a bath. Well, you and me and him thrice. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I have the key. I mean, the uh, ship key. C4, yeah. You, you're doing okay there, Fage? That's clever. No? Oh well. He's coming, I know he is. The bars, the walls, they can't hold him. He'll get in, he'll get in. I still have time. I can make it almost through, but he's close. I can feel that he's coming to finish it. Let him come. Quite the history between these two. the shower room that's a big room hello Ok, 
Okay, this one stays lit for a while. Urinals. Windy's favorite, apparently. Time to hit the showers, Nick. I like the little snack in the bottom. Snack. Ah. Uh, I don't see it. Cakes. I told you, I told you, you didn't listen. Can, can you calm down with the banging, please? He's here. The urinal cakes. Let me check it out. A little snack at the bottom. Wendy, do you need some help? The fuck is a snack? Like food? Cakes? Urinal cakes? I'm I'm so confused right now. But that's okay. Professional <laughs> No. Well I am a professional gamer. I can lend an ear or two. They're all gonna wake up, aren't they? Wait, wait, wait. Outside? Where is this light coming from? We're so far down below. How can we have uh, daylight? Mm -mm -mm. A scented soap thing in the urinal sometimes and they call it urinal cakes. Oh! Yeah, yeah, I get it. Cake. My, my brain is just too literal. Oh, what was that with the seductress? I wonder if these memories and James finding them and paying attention to them is part of some kind of a deep theory you can have. That the original Silent Hill 2 and this remake are one and the same, and just part of the same purgatory, but a different run-through. And that's why some of the characters and some of the things are slightly different. Oh my god, that's my new headcanon. Both games are the same, that's why they're both called the same. Mind blown. Yeah, don't steal it. My my head cannon. No one else can have it. Mind blown. This is. <laughs> I think they're overplaying this part. You, you did it once in uh, the original game, and now you do it three times. Oh my god! What now? I'm running. <laughs> Try to hide again. You stupid ass. I ain't fighting this. I'm out. Sprint, James! Oh, that is a lot of girls! No! Whoa! Dude, there's so many enemies in that room. I'm out. Uh, where am I right now? I, I keep losing track of where I'm going. They're all chasing me, aren't they? Yep. Let's turn off the light, and I try to do this without seeing anything here. Dude! Fucking cheater! There's no light here! I'm 
Save, please. Save, 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 save. <coughs> I heard someone complain that the game is too short. I mean, it's tough to say because I haven't finished it yet, but, uh, you know, I'm just basing it off of where I am now versus original, and it's looking to be roughly 18 hours with me paying attention to most things for an $80 price tag. Uh, I don't know. I'd rather have quality over quantity. What, what, what do they want? Ubisoft uh, Towers? Assassin's Creed uh, Trail Missions? Some people are just unpleasable. Hey, don't you talk shit about uh, Assassin's Creed. You mean Ass Creed? Fuck, sucks. Board time. I f uh, did I mention that? I finished um, Assassin's Creed uh, Mirage like a week ago. It's a basic story playthrough. Oh lord. That was not uh, the best game I've played in my life. I don't regret playing it, but, uh, whew. <laughs> God, I'm so fucking scared. Where are you? You mean bitch. You know, I wonder if there's a PC mod of this game where it just makes every room and every place extremely bright. Just a quick thought. Maybe I'm playing it on a shitty monitor. I don't know, I just feel like it's a little bit too dark. Now, where did you hide? Nice hiding spot. You come to me. Hello? Are we gonna fight or what? Are you just gonna keep hiding? <laughs> this fucking bitch, what are you doing over there? <laughs> they, they made these enemies so much more fun and interesting. Whoa! Bought a bunch of Assassin's Creed games in a bundle and burnt yourself out. They're not fun after you play three of them in a row. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I played uh, the first two games when they came out. I'm like, okay, that's cool, but I th I'm done like with this type of game. Uh, I can't imagine playing every single Assassin's Creed game in a row or like one year after. The I just, dude, I had the longest break between Assassin's Creed 2 and Mirage. How many years is that? 15 or something? And I almost got burnt out after my story playthrough. I, I kind of did get burnt out. I still haven't tried the rifle, but um, I'm waiting for a special occasion. Sunday, morning route. Incident at the infirmary D-183. Assaulted medical staff attempted to steal medication. Situation under control. Noon lock up. Rumors of disease spreading among the prisoners reported to administration. Wait. Huh? Afternoon route. EU-130 had a coughing fit. Reported to medical staff. Uh, this, this, did this take place right before that... Uh, plague outbreak they talked about with Brookhaven Hospital with the immigration it was a big plague hmm whoa what's going on in here visitation room
I wait for your turn. Who look alike? I really hope this game isn't a one-time thing for Konami now. Just deliver one quality title and then they're back to releasing shit to uh, catch upon or whatever it's called. Mobile games up the anus. Oh, do I get the, the the special knock here with the jump scare sound? Come on. They must have kept it. Well, they they, they made it much stronger. I do think it's a reference to the Hanako, you know, the the innermost stall, knock three times. It must be. <coughs> uh, and it's also the women's bathroom, so yeah. It, it must be a reference to it. Yeah, let's just uh, hope that uh, Konami can continue. Because they, they used to deliver and publish really good games back in the day. Like the Castlevania games, for example. Metal Gear Solid. And, of course, Silent Hill. Like, a lot of really good game series. Top-notch quality. Just give a talented team a bunch of money and budget to make these uh, these games and you got um, you know masterpieces on your hand left and right but it's just it's so weird because i gave up on konami many many years ago like over 12 years ago i gave up on konami Com completely like it it's over they're not gonna release good games anymore <laughs> well there's that part and here we are playing a quality fucking remake of Silent Hill 2 Obviously, Metal Gear Solid is not gonna continue anytime soon in high quality. Highly doubt so. In for me, here we go. But Castlevania could. I would like to see a return to form for Castlevania. We've, we've had it in different ways. We've had it with Bloodstained. And I think those games are amazing. But Castlevania could continue in a triple-A budget. Makes sense having nurses here now with uh, the infamy and everything. Wow, the triple! No, that wasn't the triple. Copium? It was tough to see her swing there in the darkness. Okay, I thought she was dead. What? <coughs> At least they've done a good job of um, releasing uh, collections. You know? 
Castlevania Anniversary Collection and the DS Games Collection, Game Boy Advance Collection. All of them were quality releases. And if it wasn't for this remake, I, I would actually be streaming Castlevania right now through those collections because, you know, it's on my backlog. But yeah, we can uh, do it later. Hey, the upper floor key. Repeat the examination report conclusions. None of the examined show any clinical sign or symptom of a life-threatening illness contained contagious or otherwise. The recommended endurance tests were also performed. The results have been submitted directly to the warden as per his specifications. Oops, I did not read the, the backside. <coughs> Why are we doing this? New rules of conduct effective immediately. Guards are to keep their distance from the prisoners at all times. Any attempts of approaching the guards by the prisoners are to be met with immediate disciplinary action. Prisoners are to be confined to their cells until further notice. Alright, the door is to the left over here. I would very much like a save point soon. Alright, where are we now? West Wing, second floor. No save run. Imagine if uh, the same requirements for 10 star challenge apply here, which is a maximum of two saves. Dude, that would have fucking scared me if I didn't uh, pay attention. He's sneaking up on me like that. That just leads back to the oh the guard room i could go there and save unless there's a save here it's like a uh, alan wake too right here fuck it no save we're going i'm bringing out my short tick no not the right one Where's my shotty? Oh, deep pad down. Six, 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 six. Someone must have had fun at Konami. I mean, the Bluebird team just spamming those letters. Sick. Here's my save point. I need to grab a quick snack on this next break coming up. To keep my juices flowing, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> so, what was the point of this? Typewriter. I'm supposed to do something with it. Oh. 
Maybe if I type sick. It's so loud. I got the password, dude. I figured it out. First try. They don't call me five head for nothing. Yeah, blind playthrough. My anus crack. Wait, what? Isn't this? Oh, it's not on the ox anymore. Well, fuck me. How do I get back? I don't, don't tell me I need to run all the way back the way we came. That's a little bit... <laughs> they gave me a... They gave me a shortcut to block C for a reason, right? So how do we get back down? Right? Because we could just go all the way back the way we came. But they gave us this... Like doorway. So we can get back down and use the weight early or faster. But you can't get down because it's not on the ox anymore. So what gives? Oh, the staircase right there. No, 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 no. You stay put, girl. Oh, yeah, I forgot all the enemies are still here. Mm-hmm. That is some good James design. Okay, before we input, uh, I mean, the, the last wait, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break, grab a quick snack. Kind of dark in here to be racing. <laughs> it's kind of dark. What, what do you mean? What do you mean, JC? This is what all AAA games look like nowadays. The less you see, the better. Now, I hope you're doing uh, fine, man. Uh, I'll be right back. We are back with some more science help. Let's go. Scale time. So, oh, it's the dove now. And we need all of them to reach it. No, we don't. I guess I got lucky. So we're free now? Or wait, was this... Was it on the dove when we entered this place? Oh, wait a second. It needs to be on the sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's gonna be tough, though. Uh, let's see, switch place with these two is probably enough. No, that's too much. Dude, how? Maybe take the big one over here. Close. And then switch place with, with these two. No, it's still not enough. I'm just assuming it needs to stay in the middle. But how the fuck? Maybe if we have two heavies over here. And then the rest over here. Oh, that's not even close. No. Hmm. I just don't remember if it was on the Dove in the beginning. It may have been. The ox, snake, and the boar we used to enter those areas, and we're finished with that. I'm assuming it was on the dove when we entered, and now we need to use these weights to make it land in the middle, like on the sword icon. But I don't know, am I, am I overthinking it? Oh, we don't have to use all of them, that's true. Hmm. That's 
so close. What if we take this one here and then off? It's just a trial and error puzzle. Maybe we'll just try the small one here. No. Uh, I just want to know if it's what I'm supposed to do here. Is it supposed to land in the middle or not? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably the dove, but I, I landed there and nothing happened. Ah. So close, dude. There we go. Oh, and then we head over here. Maybe now. Because they're finally free and they're gonna die. Wait, my eyes are itching. Hold on. Playing one-handed. Ugh. Well, we're missing an item, though. And I didn't find the door with the dove. Wait, since when did we reach this store? We've been here? The fuck? When? Uh, from that staircase? I need to check. Where's the horse? I don't hear it anymore. Once again, I forgot to restart. Yippee. Oh, it was here. But he didn't put it on the map. But for fuck's sake, dude. Oh, there's still... Dude, I can't see anything. It's just so dark and they're fast and it's 30 FPS. Dude, what the fuck, man? There are two! There are two of them and I can't see anything! Misty, help! <laughs> what was that sound? Yeah, happy Friday. Great to see you. Oh, come on. <clears throat> okay, we'll uh, just start with F4, and then we hug the uh, left wall. And definitely the most annoying enemy in the game. Hey, they're back! But they're remastered! Women in flight. Yeah, they're like AI upscaled. 436 people at a recital. It's cool to see these images in higher resolution. And then this one is important. Oh, they changed this one drastically. Burning Man. Okay, so they changed how the hotel looks. The peanut gallery. Oh, I just had some peanut butter on my break. Okay, now we have the left one. No, I did not eat nuts with the spoon. I put peanut butter on my sandwich. What the hell is this room? My sandwich. I 
I'm a white, but my neck is red. I put marmalade on my wander bread. I guess I'm okay to step my step inside. Oh, this is an uncomfortable room to say the least. You can't really lay down or anything. It's just, oh, what a fucking torture fest. Imagine being slightly uncomfortable for the rest of your life. <sighs> I do think the game is uh, overplaying these destructible walls. Just a little bit. Well, this is the way forward, though. Or is it? It leads to... Ah! It's just a way back to the first floor. A little shortcut. Might as well take it. Any second now, they're gonna jump at me again. I need to use my boomstick. You little shit. Let's uh, try out the rifle. Ass ch cheek shot. Oh! T down and out. She ain't sitting down anytime soon. It's so fucking random, dude. I can't. It sounds like an outtake that you just left in. Hello. Woo! I tried to press dodge, but I fucked up. They're so agile, I can't take it. Whew. Good thing I hit first. No, you missed, James. There you go. <coughs> well, there's kind of the halo of the sun, but there are four now? <gasps> and Shinra! No, I talked over it. There is the fucking voice. So they do have it. No. Yeah, there you go. There you go. And it's only in this room. Can we shoot him? Ah. <laughs> uh. Do it again. Yeah, yeah I heard it. Um, sure. I, I, don't, I don't hear him saying ritual. No, I don't. I mean, you can take the voice and then speed it up so it sounds like a normal human being. 
But even then, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, I, I replayed uh, the game on uh, the HD collection to gather footage, and in that version, his voice is much lighter. And it still didn't sound like it, like a ritual. Due to recent acts of in inmate violence, prisoner D239 has been transferred to solitary confinement F6. Of course, he writes it down. F6. Oh! I guess we're going there right now. I want to open up uh, both. Probably gonna get punished for it though. Okay, so F5 first. Uh, here. Show me the money. Is this a solitary cell? Don't you dare lock me inside. You thought the padded cells were bad? Imagine staying a night in one of these. Also, they can lie down? Man, look at these spikes. At least these are a bit... Uh, what would you call them? Less sharp, less protruding. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I couldn't let them take you. And now you're... You're still there, aren't you? <coughs> oh, maybe now. Maybe now I can uh, reach uh, the sword. The lightest weight. Oh, I know what's gonna happen. I need to, uh, I need to try opening it uh, three times. And then it let me out. What the fuck? Well, I'm ready. Fucking flashlight is going off. Is it, if I didn't know about this gag from uh, the PlayStation 2 version, th that would have scared me so much. I'm happy they they include these uh, iconic moments, like the guy, and of course the where you get locked inside and you have to try three times to open. Uh, all right, we're heading to the ladder, and we're done here. Noise. Oh. You know, this game being so dark overall. I wonder how this for people who have um, you know, wrong settings on their TV, maybe crushing uh, the blacks, the, the black levels, you know, stuff like that. So we just make everything invisible. Like, l let me demonstrate again. Like right now, you can you can make out a little bit. You can see James, and you can see the door, right? Depending on how your monitor or phone, whatever, is calibrated. But check this out. If I, uh, and there we go. So this is what I mean about the, the black levels. If I drag this down, it will make what's near black completely black. And now it's just complete darkness, uh, save for the light. It's just a red dot on the screen. So that's what I mean. And now we can just increase it so it's just washed out. So these are the black levels I'm adjusting right now. So for people who have it, you know, too low like this, you wouldn't see anything. This is insanely dark. <laughs> That's what I mean about crushing the black levels. Everything just becomes true black. When it shouldn't. <coughs> Time to put on some weight. 
I've been telling myself that for years. Oh, I can't use the light lights anymore. Oh! We were outside all this time? No, 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 no. This, this breaks... This breaks the illusion, you... God damn it. You. No, they can't do this. No. Well, that's a bit uh, disappointing, to be honest. I mean, it makes sense. It's a yard. They can be outside. It's a prison. But in the original game, it was just a big box room. And that made sense because we went down a staircase. A long ass staircase to reach this area. So we're underground. But now when we're outside, it breaks the illusion that we are. It, it already breaks it. The, the whole thing with the original game is that you jump down so many levels and go down so many staircases. And then all of a sudden after the edifice, you end up on the dock. It's like a big uh, contrast in your face. Suddenly you're outside again. But this kind of dampens that, because we already went down the long staircase, we jumped down one hole, we jumped down a hallway, and now we're outside. So they already broke the illusion. Motherfuckers. And the horses are gone. So I'm also, I'm a disappoint. I am a disappoint. Now it needs to be on the sword. There, there's no way it isn't. That was close. Okay, so this one oh, up here. I do think we need to use all of them to complete the puzzle. Okay, switch place. This one over here. And then you two over here. Okay, maybe the heaviest over here. And the second heaviest here. Ooh, bam, that's close. How do you... I'm so disappointed that you can't even word right. <laughs> I mean, I, I think I explained it well enough, didn't I? It's uh, slightly irritating. There we go. <coughs> so I was right. You needed to... Oh, the wooden plank is back. No, oh, you, you mean my initial reaction? I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was so caught off guard by this. That's so interesting. They're, they're mixing the hangman puzzle with the, the prison yard. I departed with great haste, leaving not a single trace. Ever faithful to my creed, all is right, which feeds my greed. Yeah, but how do I read the next one? Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, you're selecting them in the bottom. Huh. So we just put the right thing with the... I guess that's all of the clues we need. Nothing shows up here, it's just number one. Wait, you can... You can interact with them. Well, we shouldn't do that now. Uh, can I read the top again? Yeah, there we go. Pull ye but once on a rope's frayed end. Choose the one justified from among the damned. Seek out their tales, think upon each sin, or let blind fate choose, let the judgment begin. So in the original you needed to hang the one who was uh, sinless. 
But here, you need to choose the one justified from among the damned. Okay. But I'm gonna take a stab in the dark and say it's the murderer who is uh, the one. But hey. Can we... Okay, so you can't move these. You can just... Yeah, like that. Uh, wait a second. What is this? Oh! Nora, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, no, don't mind. Let's take it one at a time. For your grace, I do not plead. For the flames I did set free. Sisters shrieked and children cried. No one made it out alive. So that's arson. Well, let's read these down here. I wish you could have it at a better angle so you can read it without having to press this. I mean, you can lift them, I guess, but yeah. So the young one's death I mourn, their tormentors are no more. On young souls the nuns did pray, took their innocence away. So I'm looking for one that has something to do with fire. As my blade sealed the poor man's fate. Go against me, your end is near. For the flames I did set free. It really sounds like arson. Sisters shrieked and children cried. So, there was one that talked about children here, didn't it? Young souls. No, the young ones, deaths I mourn, the tormentors are no more. I'm gonna assume this one is up here. I think it fits. Sisters shrieked, sisters, none. You know? Sisters shrieked and children cried. This one talks about young souls and nuns, so that must be right. Next is uh, the wealth of others I did take. The seventh stat statute? S statute? I don't know what that is. I did break. And yet my deeds I don't regret. I had my reasons. That is that. Huh? Does that r rhyme? I don't regret. That is that. Take, break, regret... That? <laughs> okay. So, wealth of others I did take. Greed? Statute is a written law pass passed by a led. What is that? Legislative? Legislative body? What is that? Like Congress, uh huh. So it's like the rules of your parents. Like the rules your parents make, but with way more paperwork. <laughs> <coughs> well, I do think it's this one with um, greed. This is not it. Nope. Survive another day. To them it was loaf of bread. Wealth of others. It must be... Yeah. Okay, I'm going with uh, this one on number two. Took the child, you're quite right. Carried her off into the night. She did not scream, she did not bawl. I was her father after all. My only daughter, joy of days. They wanted to take you away. Hush, little baby, and be still. If I can't have you, no one will. Oh. Some dark shit here. Okay. It's pretty easy. Once the sun has ceased its reign, I cut through the, rust, the rusty chain. Pushed the door and snuck within. Filled my pockets to the brim. Oh, no, never mind. This one should be here, though. 
Push the door, snuck within, filled your pockets to the brim. Maybe it, maybe it was the food one. To survive another day. Yeah? Okay. Fill your pockets with uh, the food. Once the sun has ceased its rain. Hmm. This was stealing food, filling pockets. Well, this one says the wealth of others I did take. I'm a little bit uh, torn between these two. But let's uh, continue and see. Mommy dearest, mommy sweet, your love for me was so deep. Why oh why you shouted out when my knife pierced through your heart? That was should be easy. Because uh, this one talks about a blade. Poor man's fate. Yeah, so this one is down here, obviously. Did my time commit my crime? The man appeared, he saw me not. A bloody end is what he got. Did not hesitate as my blade sealed the poor man's fate. He knew the rules. They were quite clear. Go against me, your end is near. And this is mommy, of course, right here. You were... Because yeah, it's very similarly written with a bunch of commas and stuff. So kind to me, mommy. Fill my heart with joy and glee in the end. It was for not why or oh why you ask why not. Yeah, both of them have why or oh why. So... This should be correct. The father and daughter, that's right. Flames, sisters, nuns, children, young souls. That's one. That one is right. It's just uh, number two and four. I'm. Uh, what, what do you guys think? So number two right now looks like this. The wealth of others I did take. Departed with great haste, leaving not a single trace. Oh, wait, wait, maybe we should swi swi switch them up. And I'll uh, let you know why. Because this one said, I pushed, yeah, pushed the door, snuck within, and then departed with great haste, leaving not a single trace. And filled your pockets to the brim. It doesn't say exactly what, but yeah, filled pockets to feed greed. But the, the context of pushed the door, snuck within, and then departed with great haste, leaving not a single trace. So I think we got it. Now we have one question remaining. Which one was rightfully uh, hung? Uh, I said at first it was the murderer. Waited to commit my crime, the man appeared, he saw me not. But then it's like, go against me. It's like the man went against him, and that's why... Like, he knew the rules. So this one confuses me a little bit. Which one... Because that's what it said, right? Choose the one justified from among the damned. Justified. Does that mean the one... Who was hung for their crimes? Like uh, all the others are like uh, <laughs> excused in a way, because uh, most of them have an excuse, right? This one talks about um, mourning the death of the young ones, but their tormentors are no more. So it's like an excuse there, and this is an excuse to survive another day. It's just uh, a loaf of bread for them, but for them, for him, for him, a cherished step. So it was like another excuse or reason to do it. Uh, and this one, thinking, whatever, yeah, her father. So there was a reason for that. Uh, this one doesn't have much of a reason. It's just uh, all is right, which feeds my greed. So this one feels pretty wrong. This one, too. Can't see much of an excuse. And here's the excuse was he knew the rules. 
and go against me. So it feels like a bit more defensive, this act of murder. Ah. What, what do you guys think? <laughs> I need to spitball here with someone. This is what this means. The one justified from among the damned. He who had the best excuse, is that it? The one justified from among the damned? Maybe it's the one who took food then. Just evil for evil's sake. Yeah, but now when I reread this, you're choosing the one who did it justified, who had the best reason for doing it among the damned. So that must mean that the one who had the best excuse I'm thinking food, because he he didn't uh, kill anyone, didn't harm anything. To them, it was just a loaf of bread. But for him, it was a cherished step ahead, like it go continuing on with life. Did it out of uh, desperation, needed to survive another day. So I'm thinking it's number two. This one is the least dark. This one is the most justified. So I'm going with that. Uh, number two. <coughs> Fuck me, that was violent. Yeah, we got the right one. I thought uh, I, I thought for a second there that I I got the wrong one and you insta die. But I really like how oh how jarring that was. Dude, I'm so pleasantly surprised. This is a fantastic remake on so many levels. They're taking that simple hangman puzzle. Which in the original was just figure out the tail, pull the rope, get to the other room, get the key, use the key, get out. It was very simple, nothing happened. But here it's... It's out in the prison yard, people got executed and hung, and it acts as progress. They're, they're including the puzzle for fans of the original. It's just... It's perfection! This is how you do a remake! Wow! Stuff like this rivals uh, the remake of uh, Resident Evil on GameCube. It's the same game in spirit, but it's just executed to such a good degree. I don't know how to say it. Oh, here we go. The feet room. I'm a little bit disappointed that you can't see as many feet. I'm, I'm not a feet person, but you could see so many legs and feet here before, which is creepy. It's very off-putting. I mean, yeah, okay. Huh. That, that's a nod to the original when he says in a text box, did that just move? Or was it just me or something? But now we actually did see it, but James didn't comment on it. But yeah, not enough feet. Two out of ten. I want the nauseatingly word. It's not here. I'm not a feet person, but... Uh, this body? Into this hole? Yeah, once again, this is just... This is perfection right here. I, I do think this prompt kind of ruins it. It's like, oh yeah, here we go. Jump down. It, it breaks the immersion a little bit. But for my first playthrough, I'll go with it. That's what I'm talking about. It's one of my favorite ambiences in the game. You can only hear it here.
Oh, I, I do miss uh, the inner monologue from PlayStation 2 when it's like, do I really have to do this? Like, it's getting ridiculous. And here they're kind of overplaying the, you know, pushing him, like jump. He steps forward, you need to press again. Oh, it continues. Hey, the door is here. Nice. Man, th this is some really fucking good psychological horror. It, it makes you, the player, question what the fuck is going on now. Instead of having a bunch of characters and a sidekick being like, Yo, what's going on? Did we just jump down before? You know what I mean? This elevator is so much smaller. This controller is rumbling like my hands are about to break. I can f I can feel this elevator. Oh my god. I kind of wish the elevator was longer and maybe it just ramped up in speed more and more. Ooh, look at this. It's kind of eerie how high the ceiling is. Like, why? But you can't even see the ceiling, can you? It's, it's tough to tell. Is that a ceiling or not? Yeah? Yeah, I think it is. Whew, man. This is messing with my head. Oh, sorry. Oh, this is... Man, that's great. That is great. You're, you're making this room have a much higher ceiling, which just makes everything feel wrong. They added a bunch of doors. Uh, no map. So James isn't drawing his own map here? In that case, I think they're gonna make this very linear. What? Dude, guys, you have no idea how happy I am for triple A psychological horror games actually being good. First Alan Wake 2 and now this. I'm so happy. I'm so freaking happy you have no idea. I imagine, imagine my fear when all you see or most what you see on the in the gaming world is live action, early access, battle pass, season pass. You know what I mean? A mobile games, gotcha, pay to win. You see so much of that shit everywhere. And you think, yeah, okay, maybe these... Uh, maybe these types of artsy games are just not selling enough. It's all about that which I just mentioned. But here we are. A game like this comes out. It got like 300,000 viewers on Twitch or something. It's probably selling well, being October and everything. I am just so very happy as a horror uh, fan or whatever in video games. Oh, look at this. Hey, it's exact same text and it's also censored in the exact same place. But uh, for people who didn't uh, watch and join my 
PlayStation 2 playthrough, I'll go ahead and read the uncensored text again. Uh, let's see here, what was it called? Bloody Newspaper SH2. Blood-soaked newspaper. Here we go. So, it is as follows. The body of a man later identified as Thomas Orozco, lumberjack, age 39, was discovered in the middle of his room, face up. The probable cause of death was multiple stab wounds to the front of the neck and left of the torso by a sharp edged weapon. The estimated uh, time of death was somewhere between 11 p.m. and 12.30 midnight. Due to signs of struggle in the room and the lack of a murder weapon, police are considering this a homicide and have opened a murder investigation. Furthermore, given that the Given the fact that the cash in the room was untouched and Mr. Orozco had a history of drunkenness and violence, the police suspect that the motive was not robbery, but some sort of crime of passion. A.K.A. fucking Angela. Let's go. I, I love how the newspaper looks, by the way. Pausing. Pause. We are gonna take a quick break before this uh, Angela boss uh, room. I'm super intrigued to see how they tackle this boss and the cutscene and Angela lashing out at us. So yeah, give me a couple of minutes and then we will rock and roll. Alright, welcome back. It's time for abusive father time. Can you skip it? There's no way. Some people uh, theorize that uh, Angela's father used a bunch of newspaper to muffle the sound of um, uh, the R wording happening in there. I'm not sure what all the newspaper you know symbolize. I, I can't really see newspaper, you know, dampening the sound of stuff like that so much, unless you have a fuck ton of it. But then again, there, there's a reason why the original game and this one is symbolizing this type of behavior, <laughs> behavior, <laughs> act, <laughs> acts um, with a bunch of newspaper. I, I don't, I don't know what the connection is really. I mean, I can see that, you know, she murdered her father. That went, you know, on the news and was printed on newspaper. But to this extent, um, I don't know. But yeah, let's go. Oh! Oh, this is genius! This is the uh, the apartment room in um, in uh, Woodside. No, uh, Blue Creek. Blue Creek apartment. So that confirms that the the room we see there is Angela, Angela's apartment. But it's manifested by her. Like, there, it doesn't make sense for it to be in Silent Hill. Because that didn't happen in Silent Hill. Wow. I, at least I'm pretty sure. Angela isn't from Silent Hill, and that didn't happen here. But then again, in the cutscene, James asks, so all you know is that she lived in this town? And she's like, what did you say? How did you know that? So her mother lived here? And that's why she came here, but her father didn't? And then her father abused her? But then... But Angela also said in the burning stairway cutscene that... Even Mama said it, you deserved what happened. But were they living together? I don't think so. Okay, I'm just uh, theorizing, but holy shit. Oh, it just keeps going. Yeah, this is definitely... Angela's apartment, where it happened. Please. I'll be good, I promise. Tell him I'll be good, please. Angela? 
<laughs> Angela, it's me. No. Please. Daddy! Holy shit, dude! Dude, where's my rifle? Wow, they made the boss room so much better. You can actually move around this time. It's the same boss music. Okay, shorty time. What happened to my sound? Okay, that was fucking creepy. The way he launched at me was super creepy. Whoa! Dude, it's fucking scary how fast he is! Well, they did this boss fight 10 out of 10. Th that was above and beyond. Th they made him much more scary. It, it puts you in the shoes of Angela, having this huge fucking thing. Just throwing itself over you. Holy shit, I love this remake so much. I love the base thingy. I just want to check around in case there's anything else interesting to see. I like that James got a little bit uh, fed up with Angela. Like, Angela, it's me. <laughs> it's like, come on now. But he doesn't know what she's going through or went through. Angela? Oh, am I the father now? Chasing her? Nah. What the hell? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, they're really expanding on this idea. In, in the best possible way. This is what Angela's going through in her head and everything. It's like a manifestation of her trauma. So here's the, the winding hallway, like again, it was uh, pretty different in the hospital. Uh, I am not in a hurry, I need to check every detail. What, what? Wait, so we can't go this way? Why can't we pick? The fuck? What's over here then? No, no, I don't like this. Why, why can't I pick two, two ways to go? No! I didn't go after Angela. Did I fuck up? Oh, it's round two. Maybe yeah, we're gonna fight him again. It's one of those rooms that are better without the flashlight. Now we even have a voice to him. And that voice fits so well. 
And it's very similar to the voice James hears when he picks up the radio for the first time, when you hear Mary's voice very, you know, very similarly. Huh? Well, what am I supposed to do here? Destroy it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Round two, I knew it! Oh! Daddy, please don't! It's fucking insane, dude. Need to get a hobby. Go watch ponies or something. This ain't it. It's a little bit easier fighting him here with this uh, wall. He's not as fast and aggressive anymore. Am I supposed to run or can I kill him? I, I guess I could have just run, but. This motherfucker deserves this. How much uh, ammo do I have? Okay, not many rifle shots. Plenty of shotgun and uh, plenty of handguns. So yeah, I shouldn't be afraid of using my weapons now. So would he be chasing me in here if I didn't fight him? Okay, so before I continue, I, I know I'm stopping and talking a lot, but that that's what I need to do. I was thinking right before we entered Angela's uh, boss room. I was thinking, what happened to the entire labyrinth part? When you can find Pyramid Head wandering around ram randomly, you can get the Great Knife, there's a bunch of ladders and sewers, and truth be told, that part of the game isn't too interesting, it's just a bunch of water and ladders and empty hallways. And then it leads up to the Angela fight. They just skipped that entirely, made it linear, and then jumped into this place. And I think if this is um, the compensation for taking away the labyrinth part of the game, then I am 100% on board. Th this is so much more interesting and fun than the random la labyrinth sewer place. But then again, where is the Maria cutscene? We, we need to get that holy grail of Maria cutscene. I'm assuming it happens after this. Oh, so that's where Angela went. Are we fighting again? I mean, he didn't die, he just, like, teleported. So that's where Angela went, but I can sh choose not to go after her? Huh? Wait a second, is this the type of... Was Angela locked in this type of room and then abused and stuff? Fucking sick, dude. Oh, there's the photo again. Uh, James, you doing okay there? Uh, there's the dad. There's Angela, her mother. Uh, this is probably gonna be my game of the year. Like... Oh, fuck. Come at me, bro. You're weak. Can I even escape? They're making the boss fight more and more scary because they don't have as much room to move around. But he's pretty easy to dodge, so... Maybe on hard mode. It's gonna be extra scary. But th that is some good design. The, f the first time we fought him, it was very open, very yeah, wide hallways and everything. Next time, it's a little bit more confined. This time, it's more, you know, single hallway and then a small room here and there. So it's just beautifully designed, ramping up the difficulty for this uh, boss. 
It's gonna be super cathartic seeing Angela f finishing him off with the TV. If that doesn't happen, I'll be very depressed. Okay, so we can go there. Alright. <coughs> oh, God. Fucking skin tissue. Keeping me on my toes here because I don't know when he's gonna appear or not. Does that sound like the act of, uh... Oh my god, dude, this is fucking disgusting! Oh, fuck me, dude. This is so fucked in the best kind of way. This is psychological horror. It's not me, it's the game! Oh, of course, the fucking pistons. I mean, we had a... Uh, yeah. Yeah, right there. We had, we had something very similar in the original game. You wanna go again? Knowing you, I think you would. Oh, we need to fight him in here? No. Guys, Silent Hill is back! In full glory! Oh, yes! Uh, you, you don't understand how happy I am. Silent Hill is actually back in a, in, in a good way. King? That was all of the voices. Uh, that looks a little bit weird, though. It's just going through the wall thingy. Keeps going. It's getting faster, dude. I'm not comfortable with this. Oh, here it is, the final showdown. 
Uh, I'm just gonna stick with shotgun. It's gonna be close quarter. Yeah, I fucking knew it. Come at me, bro. Whoa, he's fast. My lord. Heal, boy. Ah! Maybe I need to stay close to him. Yeah, in the ass crack. I kind of want to see how it looks like when he grabs me, though. I want to see that animation. Grab me. Okay. Well, enough fun. You're easy, dude. Yes, daddy. Are you still not? Oh. Try. Try what? Like you don't know? I see what you're doing. It's always the same with you. You're only after one thing. Angela, please. You don't have to lie. Go ahead. Say it. You could just force me. <laughs> like he always did. <laughs> you disgusting pig. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. Angela. I don't know who you think I am, but I don't want to hurt you. I just want to get my Mary back. Your Mary. Your own little Mary. At least she was. A while. What? Admit it. You didn't want her around anymore. No. You probably found someone else. No. Find my mama. I never. Okay. Honestly, I don't have that much to say about that cutscene. It was kind of meh. Maybe the, the hate you, like I hate you towards James was a bit too much. Felt a bit out of nowhere. She doesn't know James. Maybe she doesn't mean it literally, hate you, like hate... 
yeah, guys or, you know, this shit. Uh, I, I do like that she's bringing up her mama again, keeping that clear, as uh, the original did not do that at all after the apartment. There's just no mentioning of her mom at all. I hear they're really bringing it home that she needs to find her. But yeah, I don't know. I'm not uh, the biggest fan of the new Angela, of course. Uh, I'm trying to, you know, like this version of her, but I, I don't. But it doesn't break the game. It's not like it breaks my immersion or anything. It's It's not bad. It's not horrible. It's just... Uh. Hmm. Just a quick thought. I don't know how, how serious I am about this. But I feel like Eddie is going more crazy than what, what Angela is. And they both have murdered someone, so they're, they're both in the same seat, kind of. But and, uh, Ed is really losing it in, in his cutscene. He just feels so fucked in the head. And after what we just went through, all of that manifested trauma that we got to see, and she's acting like this, kind of calm and collected, it just doesn't make much sense to me. I don't know what it is. After going through that type of trauma, and then murdering your father, and then heading to Silent Hill... Oh, now it works. Oh, maybe now the labyrinth happens. So, yeah. I, I need to digest <laughs> everything that's going on, of course. Whoa! -ho -ho! Well, hello, sir! What am I looking at? I fucking love this in video games. You just turn around a corner and you see this. This is very reminiscent of Sentinel 3. Like that big fucking guardian thingy in the... in the business center. So what, what are you even looking at right now? What is this shit? Can I touch it? He does not want to have anything to do with it right now. That's what I like, you know? Show this abstract fuckery, but don't explain it to me. Don't have a character go here and be like, Whoa, what is this, man? Just let this be here. Let this sink in and let your mind wander. Just let your mind make up whatever the fuck it wants. Damn, I love this game so much. And speaking of loving, I have another good uh, tangent here. So, I talked about the Labyrinth not being a part of the game so far. And instead we have the Angela thing uh, immediately. That is great. In, in a way. Because it feels like we're going to have the Labyrinth part now instead. And then have the Maria content coming up being more focused. Where we have the Angela content right there done and over with. Now we can focus solely on the Maria thing happening here. In the prison cell, and that famous cutscene, and the labyrinth, and uh, Pyramid Head, and finding the Great Knife. We're gonna have that section now. Now we're done when An with Angela. So I think this is actually better pacing, in a way? Well, what the fuck is this place? It's so eerie. This is some base communion type of shit. I know no one knows. <laughs> that is some kind of reference right there. Oh god. I'm so intrigued and I'm so happy right now. Killed you. Are you hurt? 
Not at all, silly. But the thing... It stabbed you. There was blood everywhere. Stabbed me? What do you mean? It chased us to the elevator and then... James. What are you talking about? Just before. Don't you remember? James? Honey? Did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? Oh, yeah. You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? I'm not your Mary. So you are Maria? I am. If you want me to be. All I want from you is an answer. Doesn't matter who I am. I am here for you, James. See? I'm real. Don't you want to touch me? If you happen to make up your mind, I'll be waiting. I, uh, I'll find some way to. I'll come back, I promise. Right, my, my brain is uh, dancing tango like nothing else. Can I go back in? Aren't you gonna go to the bed? No? Uh, Alright, uh, let me go through some of my notes here for that uh, extremely important cutscene. James was stammering quite a bit when he was, you know, surprised to see Maria alive. And it was a very good type of stammer. It felt genuine. The, the way he stammered on saying, you, and uh, other words with like the long hallway. It chased us to the elevator. It, it, it was just so very well delivered from James. As usual, he's great. Uh, this new James is amazing. But... I was a bit disappointed to not hear him yell because that's the first time in the original that he does yell and gets um yeah like angrily confused because in the original he's, he kind of screams just before don't you remember like he's, he's kind of angry at her for not making any sense here and he's all caught up in this confusion and surprise of course but no he, he wasn't yelling he was Staying a little bit too collected, but the, the stammering helped, like his stuttering in his uh, speech, so that compensated a little bit. Um, I'm not saying I'm trying to make sense of my notes here. 
Yeah, so when Maria was talking as Mary, like, James, honey, did something happen to you? You were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? In the original, she is very kind and warm in her voice when she talks because she is embodying Mary. But here, it felt too cold. That's the thing in this cutscene. It's supposed to have a contrast between Maria and Mary. One is loving and warm and soft, and Maria is more co cold, harsh truth or whatever. And I feel like that contrast was really missing here. But the, the way she, like, dead panned, <laughs> stared at James and said, I'm not your Mary, like, completely cold in her eyes, everything just felt wrong about her. The way she's delivered that line was perfect. I love that. But yeah, missing that uh, contrast between cold and warm, depending on who she's embodying right there, uh, was a bit, yeah, missing, I should say. Um, visually, I think uh, James's facial animation was amazing there, especially when he, he, he gives up. Like, you, you can tell on his face that he, he gave up. Like, he's just trying, he, he just can't anymore, he's just fed up. So he just kind of gives up visually in his head, and that, that was so good. Uh, they removed some lines. Uh, Maria's very sexual in the original game, saying, Don't you want to touch me? Come and get me, I can't do anything through these bars. It's very, very sexually. So, I mean, like, approaching in a way, or provoking. But they took that away, and I think that's not a bad thing. I think that was a little bit... Maybe too much. Hmm. I don't know. But I I'm not angry at them taking away that line. But I love the closing shot as well. When he closed the door and she was like... Uh, blurred. There, w there wasn't any focus on Maria when they closed the door. So she was very blurry. And that could be like visual storytelling. She's not as she seems. It's hard to tell who she is. Or what she is. So all in all, I am not disappointed at all in this cutscene. I need to rewatch it several times. But yeah, it, it's good. It's good. J James is also really good. But I, I just wish he went a little bit more angry. Especially when he yeah, yelled that <coughs> just before. Don't you remember? Line. What do you guys think? Hey, cube time. Oh, well, that's freaky how fast it moves. Easy. Oh, they expanded on this uh, cube room. Well, maybe I didn't get it. Or did I? Maybe it leads to different uh, rooms. I, I think we got it first try. Are there any other rooms we can reach? Are there other, any other openings or doors? I think we just got it first try, lucky. All right, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> well, um. I'm happy this uh, puzzle is back. A little bit expanded on. It looks very otherworldly, out of place, but in, in a good way. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Just amazing. So what about the labyrinth? Are we gonna... Are we gonna have that or not? I need my great knife. Yeah, okay, this looks like the labyrinth. Now, what's with the doors looking so different? Just a detached creepy as the original. It was just a detached creepy. Oh, you mean ass. Just as detached creepy as the original. Detached is a good word, yeah. 
rotten map area. Yeah, this definitely looks like what I was talking about. People doing a complete 180 in their behavior is super creepy. Yeah, me. Yeah, yeah I agree. And that's why it's so good. Because it makes you question now. Who is Maria? She, she's talking to you like she's Mary and she knows stuff she's not supposed to know. And that's why James is questioning her. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? And it's just so uncanny. And that's what I fucking love about it. I, I honestly don't know why my brain loves this type of content, this like psychological mindfuckery. I don't know why I love it, but I do. I'm so intrigued by it. What in the fuck is this? This might be... Whew, do I need to let this cook and simmer and uh, yeah, digest. I, I can't say too much already, but in the here and now, this might be one of the, the, the best horror games I've ever played in my life. And also, by default, one of the best games I've played in my life. I love that it just drops you in here. Like there is no clear sense of direction. You just you're just lost in this confusing Oh. Like nothing is welcoming, nothing makes sense. The story doesn't make sense, but in, in a good way. Oh, pyramid head. Where are you, my boy? Can I do something with this? Oh, it's uh, from the other side only. Oh, it's these climbing dudes. Wow! Okay, I need to delay my dodge a little bit for those guys. Oh! Oh yeah, I fucked up again. Reaction time. They made this place even creepier and dangerous. And I just hope that we're gonna see Pyramid Head like randomly. Like, no cutscene, no nothing. Just all of a sudden, there's Pyramid Head. Do you fucker? Okay, so this box... No, 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 hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's so much faster to shoot those guys. I need to find my great knife. Mm, up there. I, I think this kind of puzzle we're doing right now... It's not even a puzzle. What is this? A, a chore? It, it happens a little bit too much in the game. Like, it, what's the point? What does this serve? Having us uh, forced to fight the enemies? Oh, this is so creepy. I love it. What is this sound? Oh, it's the fridge. It looked like a pixelated mess. Ugh. 
can the skip text not show up? Lighter? Oil? Lighter fuel. Well, that's new. A good thing I went there first and not here. Oh, god damn, it's already been like five hours of the stream. Uh, I kind of want to head back, if it's possible, yeah, here. To that hanging body and see if I can do something with that before I miss it. And also, what about the save point? It's been a while since we saved. Oh, no, never mind, never mind. Hey, Anib, there you are! Yo, what up? <laughs> yeah, time flies. But it's not uh, a surprise because of um, how intrigued I am by this game. Oh, because I need to burn this shit up so I didn't miss anything. Hey, Soyo. Not even looking at the screen because you're way further than I am. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a good idea. Hope everything is uh, going well for you, Soyo. I just fucking love this remake. Okay, so we're done on the in the east side. We can head uh, south. Yeah, I hope so too. It's just it's just too dark. This game is way too dark sometimes, and right now it is. <laughs> Not too early. Whoo, close. Is it too dark for you guys too? It can't just be my monitor. It's just, it's so fucking dark and so washed out. Okay, so that loops back there. There's no door, right? No. Okay, just to continue south. Yeah, you need to chill, man. You need to take care of yourself. Okay, that's locked. They may be a go going a bit overboard with the insects. It's kind of losing its uh, creep factor, seeing it all over the place. Dude, let me fucking look at the display settings here. I'm going with the default gamma. Because this looks way too washed out, but let's give it a go. Oh! Fuck! No! See, not even that helped. You know, I wish we could find uh, the batteries for the flashlight. Maybe change them up. It just feels like this flashlight is dying. Oh, not another hole. Dude, I was just praising this game, calling it one of the best I've ever played in my life. And they have to do this shit again? It's like the fifth time in this game they do this. And it's the exact same animation and everything. It's like, why? They did it once in the 
original game and then we're like, yeah, let's do it five more times. That was cool. Now, where is my pyramid head, man? Okay, run. I was not allowed in there. But I'm going anyway. Oh! Oh, so I have to go this way too. <gasps> oh! Okay, that was fucking freaky. I did not expect to see him there. Lay down, boy. Where am I? I can't even see where I am. Where's my marker? Oh, there I am. Uh, okay, so we just go forward, forward, left. It's kind of annoying, I just want to move. Left, and we should be back on track. Okay, so lighter and oil. What is this? Resident Evil 3? Uh, I kind of need to not end the stream, but uh, what is it? Like 20 minutes past 10. Yeah. I'm not sure how much longer I can go on. I need to chill. You know, work today and everything. Well, you can't combine it here? But I want to continue. Oh, of course, we need... Hello. It's something to light it with. So, we haven't been... Down there? Is that a door? Ah, uh, probably not. But uh, I'll check it out anyway. It looks like it could continue here, yeah. So just head the, the, the way we came here. Just let me run, please. And that was too late. They, they do stop your movements a little bit too much. Did I go the right way? Yeah. Okay, so left. Yeah, there we go. Not you. <laughs> well, isn't this random? What does this symbolize? Iron key? Wait a second, which door was locked? Oh, okay. So, straight forward again. And we have uh, the locked door. Uh, right. Left. Forward, forward, forward. I could just shoot them down with a shotgun or something, but... Nah. Speaking of shotgun, it's time. Uh, James? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh, we need to find the power glove. It's so bad. Some claustrophobic hallway. Ugh. Uh. 
Well, you can see them shrink and implode or whatever. When it's that zoomed in. They just disappear into themselves. I uh, broke the bathtub? What the fuck? Now we didn't even grab for it. That was kind of weird. Uh, well. I have no idea what this whole place is supposed to symbolize, but, uh, sure. Let's go for the hanging bo body. It could very well represent James and uh, Mary's home. In some twisted way. Oh, of course, we need to combine. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Is there really a need for this? What is it held up with? Is it just cloth and rope? Oh, jumping down again. Uh, yeah, I guess so, but we're gonna say first. Uh, let me take a quick look. So part one of uh, yeah, you know, the YouTube VOD, this is part two. Part one is four hours and 14 minutes. This one is oh, pretty much the same. Four hours and 14 minutes. Which is uh, not even close to nine hours. So I could very well continue for like one hour more. And then we have like a nine hour part on YouTube. One more hour. Can I do that though? Do I have energy for that or should we save it to tomorrow? But tomorrow I'm going to do F0. 90 hours. Yeah, I don't know about that. But yeah, it, it is getting late. Wendy, what do you, what do you think? Are you tired? <laughs> Should we leave this for tomorrow? I could go for one more hour. It's not a big problem, but... Uh, and if doing... Uh, promotion here. Yeah, I really want to appreciate what's to come as much as possible. And I think I will do that if I have time to uh, just settle down a little bit and process what's happened in this episode, because there's been a lot. And then we yeah play some F-Zero tomorrow. Or I might actually start with this. I might do an early stream tomorrow of this game and then jump over to F-Zero, uh, you know, 4.30 the normal time. You are champy. So yeah, I'm just gonna rest up and we can experience the rest of this game probably tomorrow or Sunday. But yeah, I don't wanna repeat myself too much, but fuck yes, I love this game so much. It, holy shit, it's so good. I will uh, definitely uh, buy it uh, physically. Uh, there is a good website called dositplay.org where they test physical games and see if they work offline without updates. And I was waiting eagerly for this game. Does this game work physically without patches or updates or internet? And it does. It's not uh, optimal. Probably there, there are apparently some, you know, performance issues or whatnot. But the game is still there it is fully playable from start to finish, story-wise. So I'm gonna buy it physically. I I've seen enough of the game now to, you know, <laughs> justifying buying this game at full price physically. I, I need to. I need to own this game. Actually own it, and so not some fucking license. But yeah, that's gonna do it uh, for me for today, my friends. Have a fantastic uh, weekend coming up. It's gonna be fun to stream more tomorrow, some F-Zero, and just have a good time. 
good night only cop. Sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> oh, you. Yeah, chat. I love you. Thank you so much for being here as always. And we'll continue soon enough. Bye for now.